here. They should be welcome in in a second. Let's do it. You don't look nervous at all. Ready to leave. <laughs> I've been <laughs> sweating for the last 40 minutes. We're getting ready to leave yesterday. <laughs> I was handing him his pack. He like, the machine of mail was at the door. I was getting the box. He was like, oh, this. <laughs> Opened it up. I was like, oh, somebody was watching. <laughs> Let's get it. Welcome back to Gills Arena, presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoa, whoa. We did it. Last show of the season. Monumental. We made it. Monumental. We didn't get canceled. Monumental. <laughs> yeah. We didn't get canceled yet. Back yeah. to the living legend, Gilbert Arena. What's up? We got Brandon Jennings. What up, what we got up, Rashad what up. McCants. We got Kenya Martin back on the couch for this momentous occasion. And we got all y'all at home. Appreciate everybody in the chat that's pulled up, that's here with us. We did it in the season one. You already know what time it is. We got that 12.5K. We're going to get to that in a second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but before we do all that. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, it's the top of the show. Do you know what time it is? <laughs> We're not saving it. I'm, I'm, the only, I'm the only one sweating right now. Yeah. Huh? Top of the top. We got a special guest that's supposed to be pulling up. We'll see if the security guard lets him in. But you know we had to go out with a bang for our last show. And as always, the show is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. If you have not done so already, go ahead, download the app. Promo code Gills Arena. They will match your first deposit up to $100. And because we got over 300,000 subscribers this week, they're giving you that special NFL Week 1 promo for anybody who uses the Gills Arena or Gill promo code. 0.5 total yards. I don't even know who it is yet, and I'm rolling with it. Better be a running back. <laughs> Unless it's Jimmy G. We might not, we might not see it. And as always, we're doing Mostly Fans. This is going to be a special Mostly Fans because it's our last show of the season mm -hmm. before we come back for season two. So go ahead, drop your questions in. If you use your underdog's fantasy username in the question and we use it on the show at any point, you got a $50 bonus coming your way. Oh, shit. I see they coming. Bring them shots. I see I, they, my, they lurking. I got to take shots. Ah! You got to take shots before you take shots. shots. See, I got to take shots before, before I get high. Oh, you got to be drunk before you get high. Thank you. Oh, Lord. Oh, I oh, got the Gills Arena got on the shot glass. Yeah. got the Gills Arena on the shot glass. Huh? We ain't playing no games around here. What the hell y'all hey. give me? What y'all give hey, me? Hey, Toast. Here's my brother. One love. Hey, we got it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Come over there. Cheers. Cheers. Gentlemen. I'll have one sip with y'all. Oh, shit. Oh, Lord. Mm. Too early for this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm. Oh, that was a real one. I thought that was good. Mm. Apple juice. Prop water. Prop water. That wasn't bad. bad. It was not terrible. It wasn't bad at all. Y'all know this is an AM show? <laughs> Turned up on a Thursday. <laughs> well, it's 1 o'clock somewhere. Woo. <laughs> and as always, you can't watch oh, the yeah. show live with us. It's happy hours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Check it out on... <sighs> Damn, I'm already lit, Gil. <laughs> 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 Spotify, I, I don't do this. I don't do it. I'm a family man. Spotify, Apple Music, wherever you get your podcast from. So now it's the moment of truth. Uh oh. We told the fans to pull up and they listen. Monday, we set a new record of over 15,000 live viewers on the show. You said if we got over 12,500, you would hit the blunt. The people have spoken. Yeah. And the time has come. 
Get the smoke again. No, no, no. I was gonna ask. Him. Listen, no, no, no. He got a point. No, no, no. He got a question. Get the smoke No, no, I can listen. If I can make all three of these, I don't smoke, or I can give out ten grand. Ten grand. They I don't want. Up, Gil, they don't want your money. Nobody wants your money. <laughs> don't nobody want your money. Bro. Everybody in the chat is a baller. Everybody <laughs> in the chat is doing well for themselves. Hey, Niggas don't want your money. Gil, and this is an alarming number too. Before you go, before you go though, can we say this real quick? Me and this guy, BJ, worked hard for this, right? Okay? Mm -hmm. So when we was at 11, they had come together and say, how we going to get this nigga over 12, 5? How we? I said, look, you're going to be Kobe. I'm going to be Phil. We're going to draw up this play. <laughs> We're going to draw up this play, and we going to get this nigga triggered enough to get this motherfucker, get these views up. Had me sweating out sweat sweat this moment, And we got it done. Because this Kobe right there, I'm letting you know, BJ, he said, look, this is what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. We're gonna talk about that motherfucker USA versus the world. Oh y'all, yeah, I, I already knew what I was trying to do. <laughs> yeah. We knew how to push the hey, push, push the buttons. We got to push the buttons. We know how to push the buttons. The chat, y'all be paying attention. The company was it mood. Mood came through. Mood came through, and the pack the package was here yesterday. Yeah. Right on time. I don't know how y'all got my address. <laughs> how you get my? I don't, address. I don't know how you get my address, but mood ship weed products to me. Damn. That should be illegal. So I hope <laughs> the IRA. We are in California. It's, no, you We are in California. Well, thank you. You, you gotta mean, sign for it. You gotta give them the signature. So, so all right. So I got effect to turn. I'm already a little lit. I don't do this <laughs> See, as you know. Right? Uh, Good job, Gil. Look, proud, proud of you, man. man. Proud of you, man. I'm a real man now. Ah. So look, it's it's been hotter than shit in the San Fernando Valley. We've been routinely over 105 degrees this week. But despite the elements. Yeah, it does. Buckets must be got. Can, oh, for one. See? We gotta look at Gil's backboard real that quick. That's just like every. <laughs> what's just like every hey, every seven minutes? You gotta take that. one with me now. Bam, bam. Hey, you gotta take one with me. Buckets, start the show. Patrick, <laughs> the my love. What's happening? We got a special. Uh -huh. You still gotta get mic'd up. Yeah, what's just like oh, every? Like, yeah, what's just like every seven minutes? Every ten minutes. Every ten minutes. Every ten oh, minutes. Every you know how we do it. We already done. Do we got the video of Gil's backboard? Mm. Mm. I'm one for one. Mm. It's a white man sport anyway. Oh, oh man, two I'm one for, for one for sure. Come on, BJ, stop breaking. Three for three. So y'all got to take two shots. Two. So you got to take two shots. Two for three. Like, I don't even know how to make it. I ain't know. Ah, three for three, baby. Three for three, baby. Same time. We tied. So I guess the day we went to Baltimore. 10,000 bank The day we went to Baltimore. Four for four. That's how you feel? Mm -hmm. I guess it was 110 degrees. And Can I get some water? My kid said the uh, backboard shattered. By itself? Too hot. So I've been shooting still, so I don't care. Yo, tell the truth. I don't need a backboard. He ain't telling the truth. So much did did the backboard shot. shatter because of bank shots backboard or bricks? Which one? Boy. I, I do a lot I of you know, bricks. This is possible. <laughs> I don't bricks. That's why, yeah, that's why I like that. That don't, that don't phase me, fam. It looked like the Nets. That don't phase me, fam. My Nets has been burnt off. I, that's a new That's a new one. Oh, we got the Sissosu. Hey, we, got water. Water. Oh, we got some water. Hydrate. Oh, we got some water. Hydrate. Thank you. We got some water. That. that don't phase me. Come on, I don't now. Need the, I don't need the backboard, With sir. a Nets hat. I don't like need the backboard, nets, sir. Man. All net. I don't need the backboard. We hydrating. So we got a lot of shit to get into. We got a very it's special a guest that has pulled up to the show. Entering his 12th season in the league. <laughs> the definition of an underdog grinding his way to becoming a three-time all-defensive selection. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. What's going on, Pat? Appreciate you, Justin. Nice <laughs> you, brother. What's up, brother? Long time. Mm -hmm. How are you? Big dog. What's up, what's good? good to see you. Congrats, too. We got some... Congrats, too, guy. A little queef smoke. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> three-time all-defense selection. Uh, when he's not hooping, you can catch him. On his Pat Bev podcast, just got renewed for season two. Mm. Now that just got the renewal. They, they fight a lot of people. Mm. No, yeah. no, no, the contract was two years anyway, so yeah. Okay, all right, so y'all good? Cool, yeah. Y'all was good to go? It was cool. <laughs> Patrick Beverly, welcome to the arena. I appreciate, I appreciate you guys having me. Thank you so much. No problem, no problem. Right. Appreciate we, it. You know, we got everybody in the same room. Can we get a mental group hug before we start, though? Smoke free. Let's pray. Pray to Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but how you doing, Pat? What's going on with Man, you? Grinding. Uh, obviously prioritizing basketball and, you know, having a second gig of, you know, the pod. So, yeah, just, just grinding. Mix that with a little bit of family time and a little me time. That's the day. For sure. So you had Gil on the show. Yeah. He blessed us with it. Bless you. You know, you yeah. came back and blessed us. You an honorable man, a man of your word. Came through. But what have you learned from just doing that podcast side? Um, 
Really nothing. Obviously, <laughs> I, you know, I, I didn't take it as something I wanted to like be good at or get something from. I just figured I can, I can kind of even the scales with uh, my voice, uh, or not even my voice, a basketball player's voice in the media instead of um, actually mainstream media or people who haven't played the game. Uh, obviously, I've played with a ton of people. I have a lot of connections and, you know, people that I'm, I've you know, been around in the NBA. So my stories, they, uh, you know, I'm able to tell them real easy without, you know, hurting anybody's feelings. How does it feel, though? Lit as fuck. Like, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm more famous from the pod than <laughs> actually basketball. It's very, very crazy, but uh, that's just the nature of the business. It shows you the, you know, the, 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 the strong wave of the, the social media era. So uh, I've been fortunate, though. So you, you, you became one of the biggest memes in NBA Twitter history last season, but we got to talk about why. I see it. Can I see it? No, we're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. So NBA referee Eric Lewis has oh, announced man. his retirement from the league. Brother, the camera. Oh, man. And it turned the league has ended their investigation on him in his burner account. So that was a statement that was released. In light of the decision, the NBA's investigation into social media activity has been closed. Mm. Frank Pantangeli, mm. for Godfather fans out there. Mm. Unfortunate. They had to talk. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. So, you know, uh, we got that. Now, Lewis spent 19 seasons as a ref. He officiated more than 1,100 games, 82 playoff games, but he last worked game one of the Western Conference Finals on May 16th. He got benched after the NBA launched an investigation to an alleged burner account being operated by Lewis that was way too thirsty for the Celtics. Now, Lewis is the infamous ref from that Lakers-Celtics game. Pat, you had to put him on blast. Mm. We see the, the no call in. My favorite moment <laughs> in, in the history of the league. Mm. <laughs> mm. So, pause that. Hey, is there no irony here? Oh, we, yeah, we're, we're going to do We're going to get to it. Look, you, no, you're still irony? in the league. We want to save yeah, your bread. So, yeah. No, I mean. The irony I, is I'm wearing the motherfucking shirt of the show me proof. Oh shit! Oh, I didn't even notice that. Wait, what the yeah, fuck? It's irony. They sleep. They sleep. I didn't even notice. Ain't it irony? No, I did not notice that. Ain't it irony? No, I'm not gonna front. I did not notice that. Yeah, y'all not paying attention. I won't yeah. show proof. Hey, he wanted proof there. I want proof other places. Everybody want proof. What the irony now? So, so when news broke of Lewis's retirement, the internet did what the internet does. One of my favorite moments. We got the photo. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That's funny. No, Straight that's to funny. the rafters. Mm. In the TD hey, Garden. Man, I think I'm high. Yeah, you're, you're, you are. Me too. Like, I don't know if it's hot or drunk. You're high. You sweat nothing. You're high. It's the two shots. Oh, okay. You're you sweating nothing. You're high. You live turning black. It's all right. So, Pat, we'll start with you. Obviously, say whatever you feel comfortable saying. We want to no. protect your bad. But what, do, what are your thoughts on Eric Lewis retiring? I mean, hell of a run at it, right? Um, an African American referee. I mean, that's my modest answer. That's the answer I'm supposed to give, right? But the real answer is this, though. Like, so, if anyone who understands basketball and was watching during that time of basketball, the Lakers was going through a little strut. During this time, I think it might have been, I don't know, 14, 13 days before trade deadline. Mm -hmm. uh, 22 days before trade deadline, something like that. This is our, basically our last road trip, right? This is the road trip. AD's coming back. Uh, guys are healthy. We, people are accepting their roles. Russ is accepted coming off the bench. This is a pivotal time for us mm -hmm. in the basketball season. Anyone as a hooper understands that East Coast road trip is very important, you know what I'm saying, just for the look of things. We start off, we start off Boston, right? We start off Boston, we in the hole early, you know what I'm saying, came back. You think this is probably one of my, fuck the camera, this is probably one of my best games I ever played with, with the Lakers. Yeah. You understand? We win that game, a back-to-back -back against the Brooklyn Nets. Maybe the trade, maybe the shit like that doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. So obviously you look at it from a, a, a position of, oh, okay, um, he took the camera, but it was so much emotion behind that. Fuck the camera. I'm trying to win a game. You know what I'm saying? But the craziest thing is this. Where the fuck did I get the camera from? <laughs> right? Why is no one asking that? Right? We're Everybody wanted to go the camera. You know what I'm saying? Like, a camera had to be given to me. I didn't yeah. go give me this fucking camera. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't know. It was something fishy about the whole situation. Unfortunate, though. Very unfortunate. Well, where did the camera come from? Uh. 
Somewhere. Somebody. Somebody. Yeah, but that, somebody. They had it ready. Right. Somebody. That wasn't his. Right. Yeah, I pulled out my pocket. He didn't have that bitch on the bench taking pictures by itself. <laughs> right. Record. It's yeah. not mine. Yeah. Yeah. That, 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 somebody that gave it to him. That is the, the thing that no one ever pays attention to, that there's things during seasons that keep teams together and break teams up. Right? And like you said, it's... So instead of going, I don't know, where we go? Four and one? Two and... Three two or and three, it would have been four and one. Would have been four and one. Four, yeah. Maybe we were maybe, talking about that shit. Yeah, maybe would have been five though. Yeah. yeah. You know, we, you know, you get that confidence. You went four. You know, maybe you get that last one. But you know, but it is what it is. It's just unfortunate that I, I, I lost money with that. I got a tech. You feel me? I ain't lost a quarter from that. I could have put that somewhere. My kid, my kids, damn sure need twenty five hundred. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So like, very unfortunate. But you know, it's the part of the business. The only thing I hate about like just referees themselves, right? If you know you fucked up, just take it, right? If you come with me to camera and I see it, be like, oh shit, my bad. My bad, mm. right? Well, I'm gonna give you a tech because you're right. So I fucked up, so I'm wrong. And then you correct me, then I'm gonna give you a tech again. So I'm penalizing you twice. Mm. That's the shit I be hating with. But I think reasons. it's more of what the name on the back of the jersey is, right? Yeah, that's so, I, yeah. so I think if it's yeah. anyone in this room and we argue a call, it's gonna be different. Than uh, I don't know uh, Halliburton, or it's gonna be different than Brunson. It's mm -hmm. gonna be different than uh, T.J. McConnell. You know, uh, <laughs> Oregon to call. Yeah. But I think it's more of history. You know, because yeah. when I when I pushed DeAndre Ayton, right, I got fined damn near the same as Jabba Rank got fined with a gun, and I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? You know what I'm saying? But now it it was because of my prior history. Mm -hmm. oh, you know, you know yeah, what, yeah. what I'm saying? Oh. So like, you have to understand oh, no, it. You have to understand. Let me ask this. Let me ask this then, from a Boston standpoint. Is it a foul? Yes. Yes. From from if, if I'm playing with Boston. No. Is it a foul? No. We know that, right? Of course. Of course. So from my perspective, looking at it like, all right, it was clearly a foul when you replay it, right? But in the midst of the game, how it looked, how the play needed to go down, no call. Mm. So my reaction initially was, that's a no call. Let it go. Yeah, but then we go back and we read, this is the replay era. So we can replay it and be like, yo, this nigga Pat pissed because that was clearly a fucking foul. But it wasn't no call. But then I see people who've yeah. showed cameras before, the referees, yeah. or showed iPads before, and it wasn't a tech. Like he didn't have to tech you all that. That's what I was saying. All, all he had to do was say Pat no. No, I'm Pat. All he had to do was say Pat no. Yeah, boom. and you I would have boom boom. Could have looked yeah. straight like Pat no. That's vet shit. Yeah, yeah, that's on some vet shit. You deserve that. Right. You, you ain't yeah. a young guy and all. For sure. Not Pat no, you're not supposed to do that. Right. And that's the funny thing because Eric, like, Eric is a cool yeah, dude. Yeah, though. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Off the off off out of it, he's a cool dude. So you know, like just just all refs, like. You should know the game too. You should be in tune with the game itself. Like you know, you fucked up. And here comes someone. Should. If you give him a tech, you're giving a point to the other team. And that's uh -huh. why it should be like right. Know. So just hey, relax, fuck off, whatever. Just no, fuck, no, off, no. fuck off. Right. Right. Look straight. You know like what I mean? We can respect going. that versus look the tech. Straight like he ain't even got to look at you. Right. Just, like you just going. know. You know off the energy. Yeah. Hit him with that AI. Say less. Say less. Say less. Say less. Hit him with that AI. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't know about that. But we know I fucked up. Think about what he thinking in the situation, yeah. though. He like, I fucked up that bad where you come to him and yeah, like, don't compound like you, you like. He want the baseline yeah. ref. You know, he want the baseline ref. He was the sideline ref. He was the sideline ref. ref. Near the so bench. He, can't, he can't see the play. And I, so go, to, I go to him based off, you know, right. we been real, you know, based off, come on, man. You know yeah. what's going on. Yeah, real shit. Yeah, bro, yeah. 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 Not more of I'm trying to show you up. So I was just, you know, I was shocked when that happened, but, you know. That's just how the NBA is, man. It's those little little tiny things that can, you know, I don't Chang know. It changes. Change the whole dynamic changes of the team, obviously. Man. Uh. Like even like, you know, like even think about like Draymond, right? You know, the uh the hit with LeBron. Changes the ring. Yeah. It, right? yeah. You know, so there's things like people yeah. just don't, don't really. Know. Yeah, until you in it. Right? <laughs> yeah, until you in it. Yeah. So let's talk about Pat Bev podcast. I want a shot. Um, yeah, you, you can keep going. You sweaty already, dog. Don't worry about me. I'm, yeah. I'm here to help you. Don't worry you. about me. This He'll, is Gil's arena. He wants a shot. I heard everybody wants a shot. Facts. I'm, I'm going to just do H2O. Unfortunately. <laughs> is that a shot? Yeah. I heard that's a club. I'm going to get with, with Pat Bev getting. <laughs> <laughs> I want with Pat Bev giving too, but this so, is the last show. So you, got, you got the Pat Bev I'm podcast. Like, Y'all have Mark we Cuban on this week. right here. Yeah. So you were talking to him just about player vices and how that impacts from a team standpoint. And uh, this is what he had to say. I mean, no lie, I've traded guys because they smoke too much. Mm. Teams get their own culture. If you got some young dudes on there that are just figuring out 
smoke some, but don't know what it's what the team culture is, right? Or the NBA culture is. And you got one dude that's just, you know, you walk down the hall in the hotel and you know he's on that floor and there's no doubt about it. And then all of a sudden these other kids start picking up on it. And that's kind of that you see them coming out of their room. You see them, you know, a little bit red eyed coming to practice all of a sudden. You don't want them going down that road. I mean, everybody smokes, right? It's not about that. But there's smoking. There's how powerful the shit you're doing is. And then there's how much you do. You know, if you get past that level where you got to look at the bigger picture, mm. right? That, that's just not the culture. Mm. Okay. So now if Luca was burning it down, he getting traded? No. Fuck no. Mm -mm -mm. Fuck. What, was, what was his answers though? No. How much you doing, how heavy it is, and how often you doing it. So, so, so the, the original go question was, my bad, my bad. No, do your thing, bro. No, go, go ahead. No, 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 no. So the original, the original question was, as an owner, how do you separate the human as aspect of it versus the business aspect mm -hmm. of it, right? Mm -hmm. So I had a list of things. I had trading, I had coach hiring, I had coach firing, I had personality of team. You might like, not like a guy. I mean, you might love a guy. Motherfuckers on the team might not fuck with the guy. How does the human part of it, you having that relationship or the business side say, you know what, fuck that, I still got it. So that's initially where the question came from. Now, when he, when he was breaking down the answer, my question was a guy who averaged, because I pronounced it right. I didn't say a, a guy who averaged 30. Mm -hmm. The question was, if you wa watch the pod, the question was a guy who averaged 17. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. You know what I'm saying? So obviously, if we say, if Kevin Durant on your team, obviously, you know, we all know the answers to that. We're not, we not blind to that. My question was, that's why y'all got to watch the pod. No, we're watching the clips. We watch it, we just... Everybody in this motherfucker. You can't just listen to clips, man. That yeah. shit, you feel me? That's <laughs> Y'all wouldn't listen to that if it, was, if it was time to pay grandma bills or get grandma health care. Y'all listen to the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So don't play it, you feel me, when y'all just looking at the clips. It's real important. You can have a lot of more insight. So the insight was a guy who averaged 17 points per game. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, 17 points per game, you can get your ass up out of here, you know, if we don't need you. So that was that was the the question. But even at seventeen, yeah, but though, if we don't. But what if we them seventeen matter? Just take. I'm gonna use. Just take. Yeah, just. I'm gonna, <laughs> I can only think of one player that was on that team, uh -huh. just in that organization that he would be, probably be talking about. Okay. So. <laughs> and then he also said he, he, he cried when he traded guys too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but the guy doing his job. And it's not interfering, damn, what he, how much he doing, when he doing it, and how strong it is. You know what I'm saying? If a guy right. showing up and it's not an issue, like guy not coming to work high, you know what I'm saying? He doing his fucking job, mm. it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we all talk like, about the impact it has on the rest of the team. That guy might be fine yeah. doing it, but if he's influencing the younger dudes, but how, I, it's not. See, see that's the point. See, that's, that's, then they always try to use that shit as a as a crutch. They got They got to make a decision. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah. It's, it's a fucking you choice. Out of college? Nigga, I'm not holding a right. gun in your head like right. nigga, hit this blunt, nigga. <laughs> I'm saying like, no, it's a choice. As a rookie, I'm going for myself as a rookie. I had a choice. I didn't smoke before I got to the NBA. I tried it, didn't like it. Mm -hmm. My after my rookie year is when I this, uh, I made a choice. You know what I'm saying? The person I was with didn't, like, should we, finish, should we go on to go right. do this shit? Nigga, you better do it. Mm -hmm. Like, no. <laughs> I made a choice. I didn't smoke during the season, but I, I wish I could have. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To avoid drinking alcohol and anti-inflammatories and all that. You know what I'm saying? So it's bigger than just that. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But if a dude average 17, he's doing his job. Right. The point I'm making, yeah. right. if he's helping your team and he's not showing up, like he said, eyes red, Floor smelling like dope. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I get it. Then, then you embarrass right. the organization, right. and it's, then it's bigger than that. Mm. If it, but, so it's it's the disrespectful aspect of it that he's yeah. not throwing. The, the, like that's what it is. Yeah. Of course, I'm a trade you no matter what. If you being disrespectful, you disrespect my organization because I own this. Then yeah, I'm gonna get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? So right. yeah, I don't I don't, don't yeah, want to sound so like I'm siding with him at all, but there is an influential factor mm. to the Boy. to the smoking, right? No, it's Let's not. Let's just say. If I fuck with if I fuck with certain guys on the team, niggas is grown, man. And I'm a rookie, and I come in, and certain guys ain't I ain't cool with. But if you a smoker, you know smoking bring you together. Some people smoke, and it's a group of guys that smoke, and they all cool with each other because they all go to the room and they smoke. Uh, then there's the niggas that don't smoke. Probably two or three of them, they go to their room, they do their own thing. 
But if you want to get, like, if, if I'm trying to get into the circle, oh, oh. and I'm like, yo, I'm trying to, I'm trying to hang with Kenya, I'm trying to hang with such and such, or whoever it is in there smoking, as a team, I've been in a situation where I was the young nigga, and these were the old niggas, and I wanted to be cool, I wanted to get mm -hmm. cool with them. But if you got old, so them, good niggas, yeah, and, I, and feel me, go ahead. Like, you feel me? Like, I had Shay, I had Anthony Edwards. You drink too. Feel me? Like, I ain't smoke with none of them motherfuckers. Yeah, so go. Like, like, I ain't take. So I, let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. Let me finish my point, though. Thank you. My point being is when you are a younger guy and you looking up to the older guys that are on your team, outside of that one star guy, right? That's, that's the guy. He's the man. Let's move him out the way. Everybody else got their own little circles, their own little sex. So it's like, where do you fit as a young guy? So you don't smoke, you don't drink, you don't do none of that. But then you going out with such and such, y'all out partying, and you don't really drink, and they like, here's a shot. Like, that's called peer pressure. Yeah, that's but called, we did. That, but hold on, that's but, called you trying to fit in. Uh, yeah, yeah, you trying, like, also, you, as a young fella, you trying to fit in on everything. Hold on, hold on. Everybody so, trying but, to but, fit but, in. But, but, but let me, nah, so really. to, to, why not really? So to pass point, right? If you're not Brandon but Dennis you, and you, you trying to make the team, you, that. You gotta fit in somewhere because somebody got a vouch for you. You're 19. Somebody with a vouch for you. If you come in as you 19, that's what I'm saying. But if you're not Brandon Jennings, if you come in you 19 and you 20, and I'm a second round pick, I'm on your team. Right. You're on my team, right? You're trying to make our team, right? When I smoke, I'm not. It's a me thing. It's not a. I'm not trying to be cool. I'm not going to invite you over to my room or to my house and. Come here, dog. Come sit right next to me. Nah, and that's, be not what I'm, that's not what I'm but, saying. But, I'm not saying that. He's trying I'm, to be I'm cool with me. He, he want to fit in. He want to cool. He want a circle. Mm -hmm. So he want to be a part of my circle, right? Because you say, look, I'm about so to go smoke. I'm about to go smoke in the room. And nigga be like, a oh, word. And guess what I'm going to tell him? Uh, if he asks to come. No. No, young fella. This right, ain't for you. Right. So the young fella at that point got a choice. Like everybody, so, like no, we know. Fella, he got a choice to be like, nah, I'm good. But then if I see him doing it, and it's affecting what he has, what he's trying to accomplish, guess what I'm going to tell him? Because I'm a vet, I'm that dude. Mm -hmm. Hey, young fella, you need to cut that out. That ain't, that ain't But he's not going to listen to you because Why he, not? Because you still if smoking. If he's trying to be a part of my you, circle. Because you still smoking. It ain't what I'm doing. <laughs> you I'm still smoking. Grown. I'm grown. That's what I'm saying, but it's still an influence. I'm grown. I got it's, my money already. But you're still influencing He's trying him. to get to where I am. I know, but if you're not, if you not to get smoking, to where he's not smoking. Why not? I'm grown. Well, but he is you, too. Listen, what, what, he, what I eat don't make him shit, bro. But he is being influenced. No, it... And that's his fucking no. It's not. Yes, not by he, me. yes, oh, high, yes. Because you, because you smoking. Because yeah, yeah. I do what I want to do. Even if you saying, young fella, don't do this. Woo, woo, woo. Young fella looking at you like, yo, you smoking? Why can't not? And, 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 not on my level. Yeah. It don't matter about it's, level. It's like, it 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 listen, not, not when it's smoking. We not not when it's smoking. Everything in life. Not when it's smoking. Yes, it does. If my coworker can go outside and drink, why can't I? I like to keep my private life. Why can't I? Because I don't know. I don't know what the owner of the team is doing on his spare time. So why the fuck should he know what I'm doing on my spare time? That's why I tell yeah. everybody, if you got a vice, bro, do that shit at home, bro. Don't let these put, don't put these folks in your business. Absolutely. You feel me? Because if you in the streets, you ain't telling the police where the fuck you selling that. Mm -hmm. Keep yeah, the folks go. out your business. Oh, yeah. yeah, go. Hey, so I, why yeah. the rules change when we get money? Yeah, go you know, change. I was a second round pick, right? Yeah. Moogie Bay Lock, they, got all, all, they smoked weed, right? Hallway, done. Right? Whole team smokes weed. I didn't smoke. Obviously, that's the first time I hit the blunt. <laughs> Allegedly, give <yeah>. for me <laughs> going against motherfuckers. That's high. <laughs> Easiest way to steal a position is all I'm saying. You're trying to fit in. I'm trying to get a job. Mm. This is what I'm. So what I'm saying is, I don't give a fuck. What it depends on what your priorities is. I don't give a fuck. star player, twenty million, fifty million. They they have the leverage of that. I'm making two, three hundred thousand that I already spent on the escalating the chain. I don't have that leverage, so I'm looking for an advantage. So you want to smoke weed all day before sitting there getting high? I'm one four and flatting you in pride. I want to make you look stupid. You're high. You high. You high. You high. Great I day. go from not playing Great to day. starting. Mm. Just like like when you look at my resume, like how does he start? Because these motherfuckers high all day. They high, they're not practicing. I'm taking a I'm taking a job. This my my thing is the influence. I'm going back to 
My let's girlfriend, take, let's take the smoking out. Let's take the smoking out. My girlfriend smoked every but let's single take the day. Smoke, let's take the smoking out. Motherfucking bowls of weed. I had to spend money to buy the weed. I didn't touch nothing. Let's just take the smoking out then, Gil. Look, why do we go to the club and buy bottles? Who buy bottles? Athletes that go to the club, bro. I know the fact. I do. Uh, Athletes. Uh, I know you did. Come on, man. Think don't don't go against me just to prove me. Just, just let was, me prove my point, though. I was buying bottles because I was trying to show the other person who was buying bottles I had more money than him. Okay. So whatever, the, whatever, <laughs> whatever it was, you was influenced by before you. This is what we did. Niggas in the league went out, bought bottles, yeah. got drunk, okay, got, you. got, got bitches, and woo, woo, woo. Let's just say, if it ain't drinking, and if it's smoking, switch it up. Like, it's the smoking. The influence is the influence. If I see this nigga out, and he partying, he popping bottles, I think I'm like, about, I gotta do that, that too. That's, that's they, still they, on you, though. They, that's, that's, still on you. that's still on you. That's still on you. I'm just talking about the influence of it. He's talking about the influence. Uh, OG, he looking at it like, Individually wise, I, what I do don't affect it. And yeah. the, the the thing was team wise. Team mm-hmm. wise the mm-hmm. thing. If it don't affect oh. the team, like it like like Josh, right? It's Josh Howard, probably who he was talking about. Yeah. I had him on the team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he was a dog. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. What the mm-hmm. fuck? That? Like what does that? That was a seventeen. You Michael, like I remember, I played 17. with players who smoked weed. At the end of the day, I'm only judging you on how you come to work. Are you working? If you work, like me and, me and Mr. Poland used to talk about it all the time, the owner, right? He asked me, do I smoke it? I don't touch it. He's like, do you want any of our players? And I said this, why does it matter? If I'm passing them the ball, it means I trust them. Mm-hmm. I don't care what they do outside or in the parking lot or because their job. Got everybody got something, got something, something they need you to do to cope. 3 a.m. playing the video games. Mm-hmm. That's even worse than I, you, I, I, that was, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, like, everyone has <laughs> something. That was me. Was everyone has something. Morning. So, like, Everyone has something. Yep. It's just, you know. I'm going to work. Yeah. You Yo. said the video so games. The team, what type of influence so, they have? So. Uh, but that's real shit. You're right because I played. I have teammates that smoke. I played video games. I'm up five, six, seven in the morning. And my eyes, bloodshot red, like bags everywhere. So I take blood tests. I take blood tests. Get ready for the season. I take blood tests. What the fuck I need to put in my body. Boom, boom, boom. I want to play more games. Boom, boom, boom. They run tests. Tests come back like, um, Pat, either you uh, stay up all night or you've been, like, you've been in war. <laughs> all of your adrenaline, the, 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 whatever type that produces adrenaline in your body, is like, it's going down. Like, what are you doing at night? Uh, playing video games. Cause it might seem like I'm chilling, but shit, motherfucker, shoot at you. You all oh, heart racing all like that. You feel yeah. me? It really actually feels like sure. you're in war. Mm-hmm. So now when it's time for me to use my adrenaline, maybe I got two quarters of it, but not three or four. You know what I'm saying? So like I think, you know, when it comes to vices, you obviously you, you look at smoke because people, you know, yeah, they frown upon it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But in all reality, it, it, vices are vices. Vices. Yeah. vices are vices. We had a teammate. Never went out, never drank, nothing, right? We was in Denver. Decided we're gonna let him go out with us. Go out, stayed up out. Didn't drink though, but went out. Next day had a horrible fucking game. Horrible. Over from the line, couldn't hit his ass with both hands, right? <laughs> we tell him, you know, nice experiment. <laughs> First and last time, dog. Right. You know what I'm saying? He got back to what he was doing, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, you influence, of course, you wanna try it. Okay, cool. It ain't for you. You have to be a bad you know. teammate. Right. You have to be a bad right. teammate to want right. to fuck your teammates up. Mm. But it's are some. You bad know what I mean? Think about it. I mean, what you're trying to say? Think about it. <laughs> if I'm smoking, I have to be a horrible, a horrible nigga just to, you know, just keep smoking. Like, yeah, no, 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 I keep doing. I, that's that's I'm fucked yeah. up. So are we? Right? Hey, I'm fucked are up. We ho- I say like, yo, we go, go home. <laughs> are we horrible teammates for having you smoke live? No, no, because I, I picked it up myself. Because you made the bet. But now you hooked. Because you made the bet, right? Hooked. Now you hooked. You made the bet, right? And then let's take it You made the bet, right? My shit. You made the bet, right? right. I, I was, you know, one twelve thousand and fucking. And then another shit. thing in the chat. <laughs> and if you can be easily that, I don't influenced, think you should drink and smoke. I'm just, just yeah. FYI, I just want to throw that out. If there. you can be easily that Why? influenced, I really don't want you on my team. Mm. Like. If what I'm doing, you want, and you can be e- that easily in front, I tell you not to do it. It ain't for you, and I'm telling you why it's not, and you that easily in front. I'm gonna go probably. Yeah, you probably need to think why about. Why is John ja Morant holding up a gun in the video? Because his other no- teammates ain't doing it. Come on now, huh? His 
He's been influenced. By, by who? By by who? Teammates. Music. Fucking rap. Okay, okay music. music. Okay, that's fine. What do you mean that's you fine? You're talking about his teammates. Huh? That's all right. I'm talking None about his, influence. None of his teammates do I'm not, that, though. I'm talking about influence. Brain ain't doing that. I'm talking no. about you influence. Can't control, we just listen. Control everybody. Everybody. You everybody can't, you can't listen to listen. the same goddamn the one thing you news. Said, you what? can't control influence. What type of influence did KG have? They listen to he the same listen, fucking music. It. Let me explain it. Can My explain son listened to it. He ain't walking around holding no motherfucking gun. Your son is one guy. He ain't walking around. one kid. Three. One son. And you, if you're a good father, other people you're a good father, he not going to do it, right? KG, the influence. He had on me, right? Yeah. When I got to Minnesota, Obviously first thing, bad. first thing I wanted to do is be friends with Ticket. I wanted Damn. to get in the okay. get in the graces of Ticket, so I know I'm under his wing, mm -hmm. and he gonna show me the ropes. He the best player on the team, and, he, and I looked up to him. I'm like, yo, it would be the best shit to be next to <laughs> to be next to Ticket, uh -huh. right? Summertime, shit. I'm with Ticket. We smoking. Summertime. Summertime is smoke, and then you stop before a certain time, so then when season come, ticket wasn't none of those in-season smoke, none of that. He was very straight, boom, boom, boom. But summertime, man, like this was my man. And that's what got up. It, it, a smoking bonds certain people. It's a bond there. Because so we what, can pass, we can so what, share. So was the influence we, we, good, though? Was it? Absolutely. No. no. Absolutely. No. It was the best, mo I don't it was the best moment for me back. because yeah. I didn't turn into a smoker. I was already smoking before I met him. So it wasn't about so me starting to smoke. Right, it was that? this is what our bond came from. Right. Our bond came from hey, t hey, shot. Come to the come to the crib. Whoop whoop whoop. Here go the cold no. man. Boom, rolling up. No, Nigga, y'all bond is y'all play on the same. No, it's not. Yeah. No, it's not. Huh? No, it's not. How, how, no, it's not. How, 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 it's real <laughs> niggas sitting together, Wait, smoking, no, no, chilling, that's talking. That's now okay, everybody that hang with Ticket don't smoke because Trenton Hassel didn't smoke. No. So Trenton didn't come to smoke. He, he was cool with Trenton, but the niggas that was there smoking oh, was, was cool because he was his teammate for a no, long no, time. No, 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 I know, but I'm saying outside of smoking, like what else did he like? He was his who? He was his who? He knew him before that. No, 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 no. It was, he was his who? We was all what, along with your what that, what, But what does that say? mean? What does that mean? What did you just, he was his who for? He was his teammate. So, oh, that's oh, the bond. No, it's not. not no, 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 it's not. Because he don't chill with all his teammates. Everybody not at the damn crib. Because he's his teammate. Because you, you bond with the niggas you fuck with. So my you don't just bond with all the teammates my, and come over. It was three niggas that he yeah, fucked with. And, and that's why. I, I was one of them. And that's Some why. I, didn't I, smoke, right? And that's why no, I like most to look of them at situations smoke. differently, exactly. right? Because for me, when I, when rookie, 12 year Pat, 16 year total Pat, motherfucker, the Pat and motherfucking college. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't really trying to be cool. I want what you got. Mm -hmm. I don't want no influence, bro. You smoke, good for you, I'm at your neck. You feel me? So like, like he say, everybody different. For you, you was okay, cool, KG, KG. When I got drafted LeBron, I man, how the fuck I'm about to get on this bitch or who I gotta run through to get on this bitch? Different niggas. Mm -hmm. Feel me? Brian was on the team influence. D Wade was on the team influence. Chris Bosch was on the team influence. Jadonis Haslam was on the team influence. Jamal McGlure was on the team influence. Eddie House, we talking about Carlos Arroyo pull up red Lamborghini. Nah, fuck that. I'm gonna get that. But in order to get that, I gotta eat him first. Mm -hmm. So fuck being cool. I ain't here to be, really be cool, gang. I ain't gonna lie. I'm here yeah. to I'm here to kind of have that that influence you have on the court. I want that. That's, that's how that's but that's how you get it. That's how you get it. No, no. How else, else do you get? How else bro, do you get the influence? Bro. <laughs> Who else gonna teach you how to influence? Like like everybody come different. Everybody come different. How else you gonna get talk? Hold on. How else you gonna get talk? Be me. Right. Everybody's different. I'm gonna tell you. I had to bring it to Was a bad influence because I was in his position. And I was doing the same thing he was doing. What was he doing? Look at Nick Young. No, what was he doing? That was my rookie. But what, what, what does that mean? <laughs> Think about what I'm saying. Mm. No, you saying, that I'm, you, saying that I'm, you saying I'm Nick Young. No. When you oh, was, no. yes. <laughs> How? When you was a rookie. Because you a follower. Right, you was a rookie. Because I'm a follower. Hold on, hold on. I, follow no, 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 no. I didn't follow shit. Hold on. That was my nigga. He influenced hold, me. Hold, to, influenced be a, to be a great player. But was that him as a rookie? You. He that didn't influence me to hold smoke weed. I was smoking hold before I got hold there. Hold on, but was that What the him, fuck is y'all talking was about? was that him as a rookie? Who? No. Was who? Ticket. I don't ticket. know. I didn't ask Ticket that. You should have. I just, y'all not even have. listening to no, my point. I think you need to Because y'all niggas be so infatuated with trying to prove me wrong. Instead of listening no, you to me say, no, the smoking bonded no, us. You no, did it yes, it didn't. It did. If he's a real rookie, if he's a real veteran, he would have told you. Well, that's that. not what you fucking and do I can right say, now. In the summertime, in the summertime, we no matter. 
It don't matter. Okay. It don't matter as when a, it is. As okay. a veteran, I can say I fucked Nick Young up. Okay. I, mean, I fucked my vets up. Okay. I mean, I fucked my rookies up. Because when I, when I was the superstar and I was hurt, I was in party mode. So why wouldn't Bitches y'all telling y'all day. young fellas not to go to the club? What Who? I said, bitch, everybody. You a story. But, but, you, but you was going to the club. Because I, I can do it. Yeah, he can, can do that, that too. Jersey, he right didn't pull hey, listen. Well. So a nigga can go do that and, and then say, well. don't do what I'm and doing, young listen, fella. I can show up but to you a fucking all-star. But you're not listening to my fucking What the fuck? Are you not listening to what I'm saying? You started at some point during your career to do it. But you're not listening to what I'm saying. No matter what I did as a rookie, I was. As playing, a, I was the number rookie, one pick. I nobody know how to fucking follow. I don't follow nobody, nigga. As a rookie, no club, no holes. Second year, no club, no holes. I got signed 65 up. million. Third year, no club, no holes. Right? I didn't start partying until I got hurt. Right? That's what Nick Young getting dragged. So I'm like, hey, 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 shorty. That's my rookie. Mm. Handle him. You too. Yeah. Handle him. Right? So I, he think that's the life that I built. The three type. No, that's, that's the NBA not, culture. That ain't the no, life you built. That, that's the life the NBA no, built. That's, 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 not, not, that's the lifestyle, though. You did, no, it's the lifestyle. You're not a superstar. I think, I think doing exactly. what I was showing them. And, I, oh and that's why I think, I think I think they've done a great job in the NBA to erase that. That type of culture, but it was out it. The fucking But do you admit yeah, that, yeah. that that lifestyle existed at the time? Did it now, exist? But now but it's very. Did it exist? But what, yeah. how did is it like, exist? How is it different now, like, I got, I got, I got Shea Gilders Alexander. He ain't never smoked a yes. drink. And, and, and it was me and Lou Will on the team. He ain't never smoked a drink with us. Feel me? He ain't never. We want the type of even motherfuckers to even invite him out. Like, yeah, we go kick it when we land. We go make sure you straight. After that, have your ass in the room. You feel me? I got Anthony Edwards. I was shocked. Boy, they say, man, Pat, boy, don't do nothing. I even better. On my tab, you ain't gonna still do nothing. And if I see you, that put that shit down. Because whatever you do, I'm a smart nigga. I like to think I have a little bit of intelligence. Because whatever you start doing, they ain't gonna put it on you. That gun mine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He started doing that because Pat Pat was on the team. I don't need that on my... Goes back to what I'm saying again. I don't need these folks in my business. So I ain't gonna show these folks a a part of side that I can't even see. I can't even see with them. How the fuck I'm a smoking drinker from a teammate? I ain't never seen an owner smoking drink with me. So are we mm-hmm. saying that there ain't mm-hmm. no influence? Feel me? Like, influence and and some people don't like to think deep. I like to go in. Like, I like money. When, when I like to get in money. I like to make a lot of money. did you embrace that role, though, at taking that OG role and taking these dudes under your wing, trying to show them the right? You said when you first came in the league. I done had good vets. Yeah. I first came. I came into a real young team. Mm-hmm. I think the oldest person on our team was Amir Sheik. It was me, James, me, Beard, uh, uh, Jay Land, Chandler Parsons. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, young, so I, I come in, girl, the core right. of the team, shit, Francis Garcia. You feel me? Like, first real vet I had. But it was, you feel me? You on the vet for two, three months. You out, I don't see you no more. You ain't no really vet. You mm-hmm. just was around for two, three months. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I think mine came with trial and error. Mine came from like, okay, Pat, instead of like, because <clears throat> I see rookie, I see new guy. I'm at his fucking neck. I'm going to kill him in practice. I'm picking his ass up 94. You ain't getting my position. I understand this game of revolving door. Next 12 years, gonna be another motherfucker calling himself Mr. 93 Feet. You understand what I'm saying? That's just how the game go. Like, I like to think that far out, though. I ain't the same dude like to think, oh, man, what's gonna happen tomorrow? Fuck tomorrow. What's gonna happen in 10 years? So I know they got this young boy in this bitch. I know he all athletic and shit. Yeah, I gotta stay on top of my shit so I can make sure my position's straight. And instead of, like, using that to, like, break down, like, rookies in the past, I use that shit to build them up now. All right, cool. Fuck that. All right, you're doing it wrong. Let's wrap it out. Feel me? Maybe at the time when I was 25, 26, I'd have had the words of being a leader. Maybe my actions show more, but now I can match my words with my actions now. All right, cool, you're doing that shit wrong. Or let me show you now. Instead of telling you, you're just doing that shit wrong. All right, let me tell you how you're supposed to move your hips, how you're supposed to hot stove a motherfucker when you go off the pick and roller. Let me show you, give you advice when, man, you feel me? That girl, like, calm down, bro. Mm-hmm. Make, make basketball your priority. You feel me? Like, this shit carries on other shit too. You feel me? And I think that's what the NBA, you know, if it wasn't for that culture back in the day, this new culture wouldn't exist. So everything happens for a reason. You know what I'm saying? You got to go down and elevate. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, They got positive vets around now. You yeah, that's, you got, that's you got what we've been talking about. Like LeBron as a vet, the, the KG, Clay as a vet. Right. No, but I'm saying so you got those guys to look up to now. You know? right. AG did say this right. to me, right? I used to hang with Ricky Davis. Ricky was what y'all would consider the other side of that. Parties, all that, he right? He up a little bit. Ticket used to say, listen, bro, nobody's going to save you. <laughs> Niggas want your spot, mm-hmm. right? Niggas want your spot. So if you give it up because you over here doing what they doing, you giving it up, right? So you need to protect 
your investment shot. Like Ticket took me under and was like, yo, they not going to save you. He's not going to give you the, the fucking tools and the gems to take his position. Y'all play the same position. So I had to stop, recalibrate because I was young and I was making decisions under the influence. But he shouldn't have had you under the influence. He didn't have me under the influence. If like I said, you, if I smoking listen, with you, I was already smoking. Then he should have been talking to you not listen, to smoke. Because it's my decision, like y'all okay. said in the beginning. I made the decision. He didn't influence me to smoke. I was making the decision to smoke with him. But when it was time for me to change that decision, he told me, hey, they not gonna tell you you doing too much. They not gonna tell you to slow down. They not gonna tell you to stop. Bro, you need to understand, these people on your position, they want your position. Don't let them take it. And that made me change up everything that I was thinking about. I was like, you know what? I see it now. All right, you right, ticket. I appreciate that. Yeah, but that's... You high. Because I... You high. <laughs> no, no, you high. No, what I'm you saying. You high. Because I... You giving bad advice because you high. Because I was there. You high. Now. Right? So when someone says, if you can take back something in your career... The one thing I would take back, fuck the gun shit. I'll, I'll accept that if I can take back. Give me my, give me those young. Give me mm. JaVale McGee. Give mm. me Nick Young. Give me Andre Blotch. Well, not Andre Blotch because he was there when I was working. Give me Nick Young. Give me, because what, what they idolized as a hooper, as a hooper, I didn't show them that. I didn't show them the 500 shots a day, they're coming back three, four times a day, they're sitting at home as a hermit. I didn't teach them that. I showed them, I'm hurt, I'm not playing, I don't give a fuck about none of this, let's party. Mm. Come with me, yuck, come with me, rook, take me to the strip club. Mm. Hit that girl, hit that girl, bring them back to the hotel. That's what they, that's what they thought the NBA was. So the time of my life partying, I th they think that's the NBA. So what? when you the see them, when you see him now, not, not being in a relationship because he don't know, because that's what I influenced him at. Instead of saying, no, 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 we don't do that. Girl. That was the NBA, though, on, bro. Get you No, it wasn't the NBA. You, you I missed what he said. I he didn't show him the yeah. other yeah. part yeah. of it. I know, that, that, but they already knew this other part existed. No, they but, knew the partying okay, part the existed. I, they didn't know that your party you I'm wanted the, to show but, them. But I'm saying is I'm the superstar that he's, look, he's trying to be like, but I'm not teaching him how to get to this level. It's like Mayweather and Bronner. Right, Bronner want to see money made. Yes. Not realizing there was discipline. Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Floyd Mayweather was the 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 thirty and forty and O. He's meeting a dude that's already a machine. Yes. So his partying now is at forty and O. You need to look at the dude who was zero and zero. Uh, yeah, yeah. You need to look at KG when he was a rookie, a, a, a second year player, thirty. You're looking at a ticket down. The ticket is a Bro, whole different fucking thing. You're still going left. Yep. You're still going left. I guarantee you. I ticket guarantee you. didn't. It's what, not the one I was talking about that influenced me. It was Ricky. I wasn't I talking heard, about Ticket. I, you say you ticket was, was Ticket. Ticket was the guy that I said that I wanted to bond with when I got to Minnesota as a smoking. rookie. It wasn't the influence of smoking that got the bond, my nigga. I'm saying, but if y'all, if, so say for instance, all right, say for instance, right? If you, I care about you, you smoke, I'm letting you do what I do. You bad. smoke, it ain't, it ain't the smoking bond, right? If he didn't, if, if he was smoking and you was around and he was like, yo, I don't want you to be around. You we sitting there bonding on video games. But I'm saying, but you still around the smoke. I'm telling you, if he on some shit like, no, I don't even want you around me while I'm smoking. You think that bond's still what it is? Yes. Okay. Well, then, then we, we wrong. Was, we was on some real shit. It was just on some that's real what, shit. That's but it was the fact it. that we, but that we, amazing. but if he was on another like, team, <laughs> if he was on another team, right? Mm -hmm. If he was on another team and you had the same thing, you looked up to him. And he, man, y'all, you know, you smoke, he smoke. Nah, young fella, I ain't fuck, I ain't fuck around with young fellas. I don't smoke with young fellas. Do your thing, I hit you when I'm done. But he played for, I don't know, Boston Celtics. You yeah. think you still think the bond? Hit, just what you say, I hit you when I hit you when I see you. That bond, I link up in the city. What's good, ticket? Yeah, that's going to catch dinner. But that's one, two times now instead of it don't, 22, it, 23. Because I'm not on his team. Because we don't see each other. So all the bond time. wouldn't be what it would be. It would be because we still homies. Okay. Just like you a homie with somebody that play on Boston when you in town. Yeah. Boom, summertime, nigga. What's up? You out here? No, I'm not. It's me though. That man, sounds like we still. So me though. I'm not hitting nobody. I'm trying to get in and out. So that's what type of niggas y'all are. Niggas ain't. You come in town. Niggas is co-workers. You come in town and you don't. 
you leave, nah, 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 nah. but then y'all not homies. You yeah. niggas is co-workers. Yeah. You, homies. Yeah. you niggas are co-workers. You co-workers. I, you I got, are I co-workers. Homies. I had homies. So you think? I didn't just hit niggas up and just be like, hey, so what's you up? Think. What you mean? So I think. Man. I so you think co-workers. What the fuck you talking about? What you on? Who play long? What you, you on? Wish me Who I had homies co-workers. in the league. Oh. Who play long? So longer. I didn't have homies in the league. Because it's co-workers. So I didn't have I, homies I, I, in the league. They was just my co-workers. Co-workers, trust me. They it, was, depend, it all depends. It all depends. Depend. Depend. You, you might have a cup. I may have a cup. You might have a cup. Bro, what are you talking about, bro? No, 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 no. Be serious. What the fuck? A lot of us connect off the homies. Most of our friends today are the niggas we was hooping with. Bro. I got one nigga that I'm childhood friends with, he right there. <laughs> I fuck, hey, I fuck with, with, hey. I fuck with real niggas. So, you, I fuck with real niggas. So, I'm saying, I fuck with real niggas. No, I play I with 15 years. years. Most of our, I didn't fuck with fake niggas. I played for 15 years. I didn't fuck with fake niggas. I didn't fuck with fake niggas. So, I got a question. Most of all, I don't know nothing about no co I don't know nothing about no co How many years you got in? I don't know nothing about no co How many years you got in? I know niggas I fuck with. Niggas fuck with me. How many years you play, Gil? Well, you say fuck niggas and real niggas. How many years you play, Pat? How many years you got in, Pat? I'm going to forget. Get this, OG. Hold on, two seconds. Okay. Twelve years, OG. Okay. Um, sixteen years total counting overseas. Oh, okay. Uh, you say you fuck with real niggas. That shit, where I'm from, that don't make you real. <laughs> hanging out with me, smoking dope, will make you real. And never said that. that. Who said I'm, that? Cause my homies took me to the lab. So you, you said y'all fuck we, with fake. No, we talking about when you t- touch down in another city, yeah. you don't hit the niggas that you would consider your homies. You like, nah, I'm just in and I'm out. Cause That's we hooping. Not me. Yeah. We hooping. But I, this is my nigga. No, that it ain't no so you we you think. think. That ain't, bro. So you think. What do you mean, it, so I think? I wish I was your vet. That don't even make sense. I yes, just, yes it does. If I'm on a team with another nigga, I play. The nigga that I was in college with. You would have played long. So now he, we just, co- what the fuck are y'all talking about? If I hit a, if I respect a nigga and you hit me and say, what we on? We get dinner. We have dinner. I'm busting your ass tomorrow. Right. That, I'm on busting your or ass room. Room. Or room service. Uh. You don't got to come or out. room service. That ain't the coach. That ain't the coach of hey, tomorrow. That ain't the coach of basketball. I'll I come see from, you my in the summer. If I'll DJ, see you in the summer. If, no. if you my nigga and you in Milwaukee, I'm in Minnesota. You come to Minnesota. Let's get dinner, my nigga. You not fucking getting dinner with oh. me, bro? Larry Hughes. Larry Hughes is my vet. Answer some, I mean, some some question, who I my no. nigga. I might. I might. If you my nigga. I might. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Larry if you Hughes. my nigga, you not hitting dinner with me, bro? I'm not. I'm gonna tell you. You not my nigga. Think about it. You not my nigga. I love you. You not. No. You're not getting dinner with me. What? That's what wait, I'm wait, saying. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, this wait, wait, wait. Is my, wait, hold, I consider wait, hold, so, you my homie. Every time I come in, I got to get Do y'all hear what y'all saying? Every time I don't, I'm wait, not your nigga. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. So every time I come in on the road, I have to have dinner? I mean, what if I'm not in the mood? What if I'm not in the mood? Ain't nobody fucking friends. No. You can't be friends with nobody. No. No, no, no. Anytime, nigga. Any fucking time. Ain't no homie. You know what I mean? My nigga, summertime. Let's work. Nah, I'm good, nigga. You know who I'm out with? I played Bro. 15 years. What? <laughs> when Demar Johnson was with the Atlanta Hawks, nigga, was we got, I was a I was a senior. He was a freshman. We got drafted together. Them first couple years when he was with Atlanta, when I went to Atlanta, because we got drafted together, and we was out in LA working out together, pre-draft, the whole thing. My first two years. Other than that. Go on the road, go out with who? Opposing who? God. Now I want you to scalp tomorrow. Lou Will, my White me. I mean, every time I'm in Atlanta, Ooh, man, my Lord, man. Man. I'm in Atlanta. I'm all you niggas in Atlanta. Oh, my Lord. I mean, I'm like, whether we get to the house or not, I'm we're pilling not. your scalp Maybe. anyway. We're not. I'm pilling your You can't stop Maybe. me from pilling your scalp. Not every time. Dinner or not, not nigga. Oh, it don't fucking matter. I'm pilling your scalp any fucking way. You understand? I give a fuck about whether we go out to dinner or not. Nigga, what is y'all talking about? I'm talking about I'm Larry. I'm a fucking killer, nigga. I'm going to kill you anyway, and you know it. Because you my you, you, play? you know how I get that. How many <laughs> I'm years you play? Group, how many years you play? Fuck y'all niggas talking about. How many years did you play in the NBA? I don't know. I don't remember. I'm drunk. Listen, hold on. I, I, listen, I'm Larry. I don't fucking remember. I don't fucking remember. I don't fucking remember. I don't fucking remember. What's the point? What's the point? What's the point? You ain't trying to be niggas' friends. What's the point? I'm Larry Hughes. He's saying if you maybe if you would have had maybe man maybe man I know but that's how you gotta man but it's done it's over with. I know he's saying maybe if he had if you had this. Different, people hey man, different guidance. On, no, 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 maybe no, no, no. fuck is these and niggas talking mindset, about, man? Maybe you in the league. No, 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 no. Fuck is these niggas talking about? This is for future, though. I'm Larry Hughes' rookie, right? I 
When he wanted to go on date night, oh, I'm right. watching his kids. So I'm babysitting. I'm a fucking babysitter. <laughs> when he left, he gave me all his clothes. So I'm his ace. When I was a free agent. You're his what? I'm his ace. What's that I'm mean? his dude. You I'm homie? his man. His homie? I'm homie. When, when I was a free agent, he calls me. Yo, come here. Right? You owe me. Come here. Get that money back. Right? That's my guy. He, he makes his money mm -hmm. in Cleveland. Cleveland playoffs. Yo, hey, what you doing tonight? Nigga told me, what I'm doing is watching film so I can stop you. I ain't trying to have you score over 20. What? Oh, that's what we on? Click. Did he stop you? From that's hard. <laughs> that's hard. I, mean, I, I averaged that. 32 that series. I what you talking that. about? I like that. That's what we on? Click. I like that. That's but, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> My first All-Star, my first All-Star was actually his. He got hurt. It was supposed to be his. Mm. I said, yo, yo, big OG, can you come and support? Because this is yours. I'm playing for you. So him and his family came to Denver. But that's what I'm saying. But that's the, his defense made my offense. So we respected each other to know, I don't want to hang out with you tonight. We not eat, we not going to dinner. At, when it's over, we can hang out. <laughs> during this season, during when I come in the city, it's about business. Mm -hmm. That's what we forget. That's what was the bad part about it. <laughs> We're going to cities with our friends thinking it's 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 time. Right? We're hanging out. Fuck all that. No, I'll that's, see not, you that's not it, homie. That's NBA not, that's niggas not what party going, more. That's right? not the reason you got NBA a homie, niggas nigga. party more during the season. For some odd reason. Yeah. Not for in the sure. summer. Yeah. For sure. During the season, we like want to fucking like hang around and do what we it's need like to do. It's like thirsty to right? go out. I want to go to the club thirsty. and do this. And this. Like, that's our job. Like, fuck that. That's why I had to put Summertime. rules in. I'm going out one or two times. During, when I started doing what I'm doing, yeah. one or two times during the season, I'll party in the summer. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Whoever has the best party out of you motherfuckers, I'll go in and say, whoever has, which one of you motherfuckers spend the most money on the party, I'll show up to. Other than that, nah. Yeah. I see you in the summer. I got I got a perv. I got I got those guys I name on that Miami Heat team. I mean, I'm I'm 15% UD. I'm 15%. I'm really hoping they really slide this per diem over every trip. You feel me? Oh, look, look, look. I got four, five per diems, right? Mm -hmm. At the same time, though, I'm 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 I'm, I'm with Brian going out. <laughs> feel me? But I'm also with Brian watching football games Monday mm -hmm. nights. Too. Mm -hmm. Or I'm, I'm with Brian while they shooting a Nike commercial with Pat. What you, what, 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 where you from? They're like this? Ah, oh, hell yeah. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, so, it's a way you can, it's, it's a way you can show the NBA life without tearing a kid down or, or putting this heavy ass umbrella of influence in front of them. Like, yeah, you can get this if you do this, mm -hmm. right? So, yeah, I went out with Brian. Hell yeah, you feel me? Still go out. My dog, big bro, he gave me the whole blueprint. Probably the reason why I'm in the NBA so fucking long. And you, y'all homies? Huh? Y'all homies? What do you mean? What's homies though? Like, oh, I, I, I that's not a fucking homie. Yeah, that's question. my homie. All right. But, that's but, all I ask but, is but, that's your homie. But do I wish him uh, Merry Christmas? I just no. asked. No. Hey, <laughs> just, am I wishing? Do you him have to? Do you have Happy birthday? Do no. you have to wish him Merry Christmas to be a homie? Is, is, like that's what homies do. That's so nigga. That's so nigga. I can call my homie and go out with him, right? Yeah, but I'm not. You said you went out with Ron. That's my homie. Y'all niggas contradicting yourselves. What the fuck is y'all talking about? He's like, if I see his respect. But you just like, said I went out with hit you like Merry Christmas or happy like yeah. Who's like, doing I mean, that? Who said that? Who's doing that? Because I got friends who said that it and who's doing that it. Do that. No, because you that's said that's an extreme. No, no. Don't go to the extreme. No, no, that's not what no, I said. No, that's just my. No, you own said because if you I come to Milwaukee, the, if I come to Minnesota and I don't hit you, then it, to go out. To no, I didn't say that, my nigga. I didn't say if you came there and I didn't hit you. I said if I come there and I hit you, and let's go to dinner, my nigga. You said homies don't. No. Nigga, if you my homie, we going time. to fucking I'm dinner, my nigga. I just touched down. Yeah, but what if, but what if I say no? You say no, you say no. You got something uh, to do, my nigga. Uh, okay. Does that not uh, make you my homie? What oh, no. to do even if, bust your even ass. if you said I'm watching film to bust I'm your ass, my nigga. Ass I'm, is what I'm, doing. I'm like, bet. Okay. Bet, I'll see you at the game, my nigga. So, so Pat, you talked about your relationship with LeBron and you're giving the, you the blueprint. What is that blueprint exactly? Of know the game you're playing, right? Be in control of what you're doing, right? I watched this man go home. Car in front of him, car. Oh, this is not what I was drinking. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> why, why, why you drive? Why watch this normal person drive? He, he drive by himself. You drive, you got car in front, car behind. Why when you work out, you do two extra sprints? Why when everybody leave at, at I don't know, 12, 30, you leave at 1? You feel me? So, like, he gave me more of that 
and showed me more of that. Mm -hmm. So I just took that and I added with, with the shit I got. I mean, you feel me? I ain't average over 10 points in the NBA. I've been in this shit for 12 years, bro. Hmm. Like, like, let's, like, like, you feel me? Did that LeBron influence you, my nigga? And that, that comes from, like, 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 taking care of your body, which is all the things he did. I'm 16 years, he's 21. No. Apparently, whatever the fuck he taught me, that shit's been working and still is. I'm still in this bitch, I'm still kicking. You know what I'm saying, I'm saying? So he gave you some influence. <laughs> Uh, but the right influence. <laughs> right. Gave you influence. Yeah. Right influence. But the right influence. But I'm just using the word influence. Mm. That's the that's the whole. I never said good influence <laughs> or bad influence. Right. I said nigga influence. <laughs> you gonna be influenced badly doing the negative shit, or you gonna be influenced goodly? And when <laughs> goodly. Nigga... God damn. What is it's that Carolina fucking degree, boy? That education. So <laughs> so we talking. To, so we gonna get on the speech shit? Nigga, is that a word? It's a word now. No, it fucking ain't. Nigga ain't never have been. Ain't it's be a today. word that now. It's always a word with me. Bring up the shot. What the fuck? The clock. What the fuck you mean? The clock. Hey, no, 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 no. This is no, what no. we doing. The clock. Hey, this is no. what we doing. Bat. Bat. Shot a clock. Bat. Fair game then. Hey, no, 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 no. Seriously. Fair game. Hey, 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 fair game. Hey, 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 fair game. We are. game. We are. God damn. Peace and love. This is a fucking game then. No, 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 no. This is a good moment though. Thank you. Like. Like I always, I'm on the correction path now. Yeah. Don't no, fuck no. up your fucking yeah. words. Yeah, yeah, yeah finish. Yeah, yeah, I'm on your fucking ass. What's uh, up? I, no, finish your. I want to. Uh, I want to uh, give shit. Pat something because yeah. I always use Pat. Uh -huh. I always use Pat as a reference when I'm talking about if you want to make it to the next level, mm -hmm. you have to understand who you are, mm -hmm. what they need, and apply it. Right. Absolutely. So when people talk about 12 years and they talk about defense, how many defenses? Oh, three, three, three time. All three time all defense. Three. No one knows he led Chicago, <laughs> Illinois in scoring, scoring, right? So when all these kids out here thinking they're scores, right? I'm pretty sure, averaging 30, 37. 37.3. Right? He was like, fuck that. I don't need to pass the ball to nobody. Mm. But understood, and this is where intelligence and understanding the game and the IQ comes from, understanding that there's probably someone that is already in that position. And if I want to make this team, I have to change my game to fill in something that they don't have. So now you're talking about a guy who was a offensive juggernaut mm -hmm. turned defensive player. Mm. So when you're talking about getting to the next level, you have to understand what does what do they need for me to fill in that void? Right? So whenever I talk to kids like, yeah, y'all y'all all scores now. That sounds cool. But when you go to the next levels, you need to really understand like who's who, what's what and how to imply your your talent. And to piggyback on that, when you first came in, did you automatically go overseas or did you have a shot at training camps and certain things? Early? I had, uh, so I got, I, got, I got suspended for a year in college. Of course. So I was forced with a decision. <laughs> he said, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I was forced with a decision to make. Uh, ironically, I have a meeting with Nick Nurse. Mm -hmm. he, he was with Iowa Energy at the time. Mm -hmm. But I just had, you know, I just had another kid. Man, I got two kids. I'm a sophomore in high school. I ain't trying to be, I got to get this paper. So my decision was always, my decision was always like money. Yeah. yeah. Sophomore in college, you said yeah. with the two. Let me ask you this then. You raised in high school or college? Yeah. No, college. My I'm bad. about to say. Oh, my shit. Bad. Yeah. Bad. Yeah. 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 Let me ask you this. College. When you was in college that second year, right, and you don't get that situation where you had to, you got suspended, whatever, don't you think that you had the opportunity down there to raise your level of play, average more points, Naismith, candidate, like you... You wasn't no slouch. Yeah, no, nah, I was. I was all that coming in. You know, he was we, like Steph Curry, Kevin Durant. We was all freshman team. I so was if you did four years or three years, you yeah. would have been a, yeah. a situational pick anyway, anyway. right? Yeah. So I'm not going to diminish you having to go over there and turn into no defensive player, knowing that you never lost the mentality of being a dominant. But no, sport. I was a scorer over there too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the thing. Like I was a scorer over there too. So MVP. Right. So like when I came to league, league on some like I got Kevin McHale. And I'm like, man, I got a hard coach, but at the same time, I got old school coach, too. You feel me? Like, I don't give a fuck what you say. Hoopers love them, my old Indiana Hoos your ass. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what you say. Because mm -hmm. you know exactly what this coach wants from you. Right? Mm -hmm. I know What you want me to do? Man, I want you to harass everybody. All right, cool. Now, if I'm a... I'm, I, I, again, I like to think I got a little sense. I like to think my mom did a solid job with me. She didn't really fuck me up too much. You feel me? So I like Likewise. to think that, all right, you feel me? I like to think that, okay, cool. All right, if he giving me the ace of spade, and I know what my ace of spade is, is defense. Okay, cool, I'm going to just use this king of spade to get in the dough with my offense. So instead of fucking the 30, I'm going to just shoot 40 from the three for like eight years. 
right? Yeah. Now I'm I, now I'm okay, cool. I could sprinkle a little of this. Oh, I'm run pick and roll a little bit. You feel me? I could sprinkle a little of this. Next thing you know, you feel me? My mental space and, and my game is actually can fit to a complete. I'd rather be Pat Bear than a motherfucker just scoring 30 points a game. Cause I impact the game just like this motherfucker who's go 30. Feel me? It might, add, it might not add up in points, is. but it's go add up. Do you think you would still be in the league if you tried to be a scorer that you were in high school and college? Yeah, this shit, I was I was destined for this shit. Nope. Yeah. Either yeah. way. That's, that's, cool. that's just the road I had to take. You feel me? But like this He's is a I was gonna get to this league no matter what. My mindset but, was real different than a lot of But that but that you know that's that but that is something that the youth in the next levels need to really understand that you really have to take out the <coughs> ego. Yeah. And understand sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do to get on that court. Yeah. Like people don't realize I'm a scorer who played no defense, right? Not realizing <laughs> my first two years, I I got on the court to play defense. In college, defensive player. First year, defensive player. Uh. Once they gave me 65 million, I need to score, right? Uh. No defense? Perfect. Mm. But I was a defensive player. I had to stop. I had to guard the best players. And so my role changed. Like you really have to be in tune with just understanding the game of basketball and, and understanding. So, and what some you're people eating. don't understand it. Like I talk to people, it's all the time. It's the craziest thing in the world. Like, I've been in the league 12 years. I'm a 12 year starter. Mm -hmm. like, respect on my shit. A 12 year starter. Like, I don't give a fuck. I might not, I might have started the season off the bench. Every fucking year I played in this league, I've been a starter. I can't say that about like, oh, me, Steph Curry, Drew Holiday, DeMar DeRozan. It's only five, six of us left. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So like my mindset has been different. Okay, cool. I understand how this game go. Cause when we get to the playoffs, cause that's the, the ultimate goal to get to the playoffs. I'm gonna go play in the playoffs. Cause I can guard one through five. Right? A lot of people don't think like that. So yeah, numbers might not be crazy in the season. Oh, I might average eight or seven in the season. You know, I might pay 25, 26 minutes. Oh, this person averaging 30. Yeah, that's cool. But when we get to these off, damn, man, where Pat Bell come from? No, I've been here. I just, and this is my type of game now. Mm -hmm. Go time. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I think everyone's different, you know, so. Yeah, cloth. yeah I think everything is different. Mm -hmm. Same cloth, dog. Oh, injuries too. Like injuries. No, I mean, no. injuries play a, a lot of part of it. Like, so back to the, so back to the, back to what me and you was talking about. Like, somebody, somebody oh, that I'm, 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 I'm talking about like my dog or somebody, right? Mm -hmm. He done took me out plenty of times, right? And these are stories that I don't, me and him, we don't even need to talk about, mm -hmm. right? I'm in the league playing against his son. This man, we done went out and had great times plenty of times. But is this my dog? Hell yeah. And you see the respect I come in this video, OG? Just off the strength of. Him taking care of me, I don't know, 13 years ago mm -hmm. when I was in L.A. trying to get in the gray star. <laughs> I couldn't afford to say, hey, hey, can I split it with you, please? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, but, do, but do we rich each other happy fathers? They fuck no. But every time we see each other, it's always love. It's a bond that nobody else can, he know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. The table split is, no, that's what huh? that's that's next I level mean, shit. But that's why I said most of our friends, technically, technically when we think about it, are NBA players. Uh. I know if I do play anything, with Jay Rich, if I'm in a bind, I need to. It sounds like y'all are agreeing with no, me I'm that you got no, no, fucking no. homies and that you go out with fucking homies when y'all hit. Hey, what's no, up? No, 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 Either no, you going out. It don't, I'm not, I never said during Caesar, in Caesar, out oh, Caesar. It don't man. matter. If I hit you, you my homie. Oh. We going out, we going to do whatever. That's the point. Y'all now agreeing with the whole shit now. No, we, we thought you said during the season. Like me and Jay Rich, like, like drafted together. Worked out, like, drafted together, like, I'm, I'm going for a spot, <laughs> right? That's my home. I'm going for a spot. We bought our escalators. I'm going for your spot, right? And he's like, yeah, you go for the one. All right, we'll go for the one. He, his wife now, we met her at a club in Miami, right? Walked in the club. Hey, how you doing? Uh, have fun. That's his wife. <laughs> She's a basketball head, right? When she says, hey, you need to learn as a guard position, go to Gilbert. Right? Hey, can you train my kids? But that's our relationship. Mm. Ain't no father. Like, but we've we haven't hung out since motherfucking our second year in the NBA. We're gonna pick up where we left off. Se second year in the NBA. But if something happens in LA, like yo, my kids, this and he gonna call me, I'ma call him. Right? So yes, our best friends, our homies <coughs> are actually NBA players because we identify with each other. Let me see if I make that. Mm. So Pat, you, you talk about impact. Fuck! Impacting the game. Let's talk a little bit about the mental side. So you edged out Draymond Rebound. in the last athletic I got player. Opposite. I got opposite. <laughs> you edged out Draymond in the last athletic player poll as the league's best trash talker. 
Do you take pride in that ability to get under dude's skin? No, it's not even honest. I promise you, I'm not going into a game like I'm about to trash talk somebody. That's just naturally who I yeah. am. Feel me? You put me on the court right now at a 24 hours, I'm gonna pop my shit. I, I'm, I'm, I'm competing. I'm, you feel me? I'm real like park ball. You feel me? You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's just naturally who I am. And if I ain't gonna say nothing to you, then I'm gonna take it out on the ref. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so like, <laughs> it ain't it ain't nothing personal. It ain't nothing that I'm okay. Let me say this shit when I when I go in. Oh, but like, shit. you feel me? Like, I I'm just when, when I'm out there, I'm just I'm I'm in beast mode. I'm in, but, I'm in, I'm somewhere. Else. But just the mental side, being able to get into a dude's head and see how that affects his game adversely in a negative way. Yeah. Somebody you may be. A I got people. I, it's funny because I be having motherfuckers yeah. walk up to me. Walk right past me, you know, before the game when you go in the shoot or whatever. You feel warming up. I have motherfuckers walk right past me, but then in the game, they'd be wanting to fight me. It'd be the craziest thing in the world. So I really can't really take it that serious. You okay. Because it's not. Yeah, I was yeah. type of, I was one of those. Yeah. What's that? What? Talk my shit in the game, see you in real black. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> he might be, feel me? He might eat person. Yeah. That, that nigga look like he really hits in, in real life. Because I it, it'd be a game. You feel me? It's game. We play. We play Portland. You know, me and Dan, we already got out there. <laughs> you feel me? And you gotta understand, like this this competition with me and Dan, it's been it's been going since I was a, a rookie. You feel me? Like this motherfucker, they say could shoot from the half court. I gotta see it. I got. I need it. I gotta see it. What the fuck, are you all stop. I'm not. We both in the Western Conference. You just took us out the playoffs. I need to see you every single time, either until I retire or you retire. That's how I go. I got six right? fouls. So like, so I, you know, we play Portland. We play Portland Lakers. I, you know, dang, right that hoodie on, chopping it up. You know, you see everything. I don't give a fuck what a hooper say. You see everything. You see who out there and who ain't out there. You know, walk right past me. Not one word. Get in the game. I'm gonna beat your ass. Like damn, that's interesting because you just saw me. But say less, cause now, I, okay, cool. That type of nigga he is. Say that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now I'm gonna use that against me. Back. Get your ass out of here. Come on, man. You ain't no sh You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, now nah, I'm going to use that against you because I'm really, like, you feel me? Like, I'm going to just use that against you because whatever anybody want to be on, I really be on that. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I'm not out here trying to be tougher than I am. I'm not trying to be out here, but I'm willing to go, for my respect, I am willing to go way farther than any other man can possibly go for my shit. What? Straight like that. I'm not in here trying to blend in. I'm not in here trying to fit in. I'm in here trying to be me, bro. And if you don't like it, she don't like it, buddy behind me don't like it, that's how it is. Either roll with it or get the fuck up out of my way. I've been like that since I was a shorty. Mm -hmm. I told you my mama did a good job. Because <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. if I didn't have that mindset, nigga would have ate me. Mm -hmm. uh, so my, my, my bringing up is different. You feel me? Uh, you feel me? Like, so that's just how I go. And I don't really play to no homos because I hear them over there talking about, whoa, you feel me? I don't really play to no homos. <laughs> no, no, no. So that's just that my, wasn't on I, that, I, though. I, come on, I hear everything. That you wasn't that on but, that. Man, just, but, I, I've been here before. I've been here before. So, <laughs> so my thing is, so, so people, so, so it's the phrase that's going around, would you rather be feared or loved, right? Yeah. And Fear. I'd rather Always. be fair. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm saying? I don't want to be loved. No, no, no. Cause Cause that you, shit, listen, that fear lasts, that, oh, that respect, to your, to your point, right? Right. People used to ask me about, like, the few, my, uh, like my situations I've been in on the floor and all that, right? I'm going to get dead on your ass in the moment because you're going to respect it every time you fucking see me. Every time. Whatever I got to do to get that, if you still, I used to tell the ref, I mean, we'd be on the free throw line. Motherfucker be doing all that thot, 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 shoot me a shot, shoot that, the. Listen, man, I tell the ref, hey, man, you better calm him down before I do. <laughs> Straight to, put some respect on it, dog. How many years you played in the league? 15, bro. It's a mindset. You know what I'm saying? So, Life is a mindset. And I, and I didn't deviate from day one. Like, it was, to, like to your point, everything that you're saying. I've been the same yeah. person since I was, yeah. since, bro, I started hooping. But, we, we, but the, the problem is we had to fight. Second round wasn't draft like you know what I mean. We so we have a different mindset, right? Than someone who got drafted. But, oh. You know what I mean? Mm. It's, no. it's, I mean besides you, I got you know, yeah. You was, you was yeah, already don't, crazy. Don't do that. But like with, with, <laughs> but like with a defensive player, right? With I mean, you, it don't matter if you're second round or not. It, it don't matter. matter. Fuck, no, like, it don't matter. matter. But me, I'm about to start. This, I had this shit in high right, school. Right, I had, all right, all right. What you mean? I mean, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations to everything that you niggas do. But we're lax. Had this shit since high school, nigga. Same We're fucking lax. We're fucking lax. Number one in the country, Mr. B. But I'm about the same shit. But it was. I came out of high school and I and I had to go a different route too. Okay. So so you got to think. So me me and BJ. So BJ, 
right? Yeah. I see BJ go his route, right? We the same draft class too. So I'm I'm gonna just yeah. give y'all like he'll kill it to you. Kill it too, you know, hey, give phone, me another shot. My phone don't score no 50 like, kids. What? Kill it. Huh? Like, y'all, I'm so listening. I, I done talks. seen BJ go other route. I done seen BJ go overseas and all that, right? So like, say what you want. He got he got a name for his going overseas, right? Hey. He playing in Rome, he playing all these motherfuckers. I'm in Ukraine. I'm in second division of Ukraine. I'll take a risk, though. We take a risk. I'll take a risk out of high school because I don't know what's going to happen. But I wanted what he had. Fuck, I ain't playing in Rome for. Fuck that. He is number six pick. He get to work out by himself. Fuck, I ain't working out by myself. Why the fuck I got to work out with 18 motherfuckers? All right. But guess what? Brandon Jennings, you on my hit list. It ain't because I know him because he a bad guy or he can't hoop or he ain't the killer himself. That's just how it is when you just underdog. And you've been underdog so long, that's just how it is. Coming up is Sharon Collins and Jonathan Shire. You feel me? Obviously, everybody had to fight for something. It's just underdog shit. Underdog shit. I feel like I was an underdog, though. I feel like I was an underdog. It's a whole nother Because Ricky Rubio, Ricky Rubio ain't having to work out at all. No, no, no. That's what made me go 10. No, 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 no. B. No, what you, no, no, no. What y'all are saying. No, the truth, though. No, no, what y'all saying is y'all are underdog from pick six to one. <laughs> right? I went 10th you I, I went 10th because underdog, I called him Ricky Rubio. Yeah. 14 to 1. Right? You're, you're, we're, there's another prospect when I'm, you are underdog like, y'all, these motherfuckers didn't pick me, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. There's another whole human being that's looking like, fuck all y'all. Like, no, for get, sure. Get, there's get, always get, somebody. Get, get, of course. Like, so, so there's a different mindset. Right? There's a different mindset in everything. But you're at the end of the day, you're making but, a million. Uh, uh, Gil. You're making a million. I'm sleeping in the gym. When you the champion, you know niggas is coming no, at you, bro. Yeah, yeah, when yeah, you yeah, at the yeah. top, you know. I wasn't this at the top. This nigga though. is at my throat. I gotta but, sharpen my fucking steel. But you're I can't let him. He's more hungry than. He got yeah. everything to fucking lose. I gotta keep my shit sharp because I know the type of nigga he is. He's coming to kill me. But but I gotta be ready. Well, you're not gonna it's be a ready. different level. You're not gonna be ready. What do you mean I'm not gonna be ready? We was always ready. It says <laughs> it on never, my. Never it says it on my fucking <laughs> shoulders. So always ready, ready never scared. Ready. There's a price on my head. <laughs> there's a price on my head. You but there's ready. a fucking risk to collect it. You ain't you ready. You taking a big risk coming to get this bounty. You ain't ready. You be taking a big risk coming to get this bounty. I this is something that nobody knows. You better be fucking I don't, prepared. I don't, I don't brag. I don't brag as much that I should. I'm the 31 pick, right? In my draft. Oh shit. In my draft, I'm the first one to win a rookie All-Star MVP, which is the sophomore MVP. I was the first one to win an NBA award, which is most improved. I was the first one to make the All-Star game. I was the first one to the Olympics. I was the first one all NBA team. Smoke. I was the first one on a video game. Actually, only one on a video game. I'm the only person from my draft with a sh signature shoe. Hey man, hit the button, man. No, no, no. Fuck that shit. Not, but and, and no, I don't need to hit that. the button. I, I, I said I was, hit the goddamn no, no, button. No, no, no. I was the first one to the big. The reason was. <laughs> Right? Victory. He's just saying victory. I, victory. No! Victory. It's 31. You know what I'm talking about? Tell Gibson. I on that man, Dan. I think I'm the 10th. I should have been the 10th or 12th pick. Not the first. 10th or 12th. Reasonable. 15, <laughs> maybe 20. It's reasonable. Right? But there's 37 <coughs> people in front of me. I have 30 people's success to look at. Yep. Which means I don't have no time for nothing. I look at a score, I don't give a fuck what pick it was. There's 30 people that I get to look at. Oh, you scored 30 tonight, fuck you, I'm in the gym. You scored 12, fuck you, I'm in the gym. Which means I have no time to rest. I have 30 people, when you're six, you only got five people to worry about. I got 30 people to say I'm fucking these niggas up. I was 10th, I wasn't six. But yeah. But, but what I'm yeah. saying is, just roll right, with it. Your list, roll with it. Little, just roll with your list is a little <laughs> shorter. When you're, when you're in the second round and third, you're looking at everybody that's in front of you. Angry. No, for sure. My I girl mean, cheating on me. I, mean, that's I can't what, go I mean, home. I mean, that's what every... I mean, I feel like She's that's what... She's sleeping with an NBA player. I feel like that's what everything in life... But I feel like that's what everything in life, though. Right? That's what everything in life. We not... Hey, she was sleeping with one of his Nobody wants to not be number one. Nobody not... Nobody not want to be number one. It's not diminishing the route that anybody took. It's just that we 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 all got somebody that we looking to chase. We're chasing something. We all got some motivation to move on and move forward and sharpen our steel. 
Sometimes you looking back, sometimes I'm, you looking forward. I had nobody to chase. Right, <laughs> like, like, I had nobody. I came in, like, you know, you know, I feel like you I was talking I, about I, Ricky Rubio. Yeah, I was yeah, like, you know, why he ain't working out? Like, why is this nigga ain't working out? I just played against him. Like, that was my whole thing. Like, so, but I don't know. I mean, it just depends, man. You know? Everybody has their journey. Yeah. Like the NBA like, man. Everybody has their journey. It's just about like what you put into it right. and like what you get out of it. Like I was, I was blessed to come in rookie year, you know, Under Armour deal, have the ball in my hand, take Milwaukee to the, uh, you know, playoffs. But I didn't have, you know, I had Kurt Thomas and Jerry Stackhouse, and then right, right after that, they traded him. They traded him. Mm -hmm. So I don't really have that bet. Like I don't have that bet. So like you said, you have. You had Kurt. I didn't have Brian. Mm -hmm. You like, had Kurt. Kurt Thomas. Huh? No, Thomas. Kurt Thomas. Thomas. Kurt oh Thomas, rookie year. But oh you know what I'm God. saying? Like, <laughs> but he was gone. Like, like, he was gone after that. Oh so it's like, I didn't, like, everybody's situation is different. But, you know, I was able to play 11 years professionally, like you said. Mm -hmm. So it just depends you on, you know. If you, would, if you think if you'd have had, like, those same vests, but just there, I don't know, a little long, you think it, things would be different? Yeah. 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 Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. I would have been in Milwaukee longer. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. right after, the, right after my rookie year, we won 46 games. Yeah. We six in the e East. We come back. We trade everybody away. Mm. So yeah. now I'm dealing with guys. And this, these are not, yeah. I don't want to say these are bad guys, but, I'm, you know, Keon Doolin, Errol Boykin, Drew Gooden, uh, Corey McGee. They're different. Like, you know what I'm saying? And you got uh, Michael Red, Jerry Stackhouse, Luke Rittenauer, all these guys gone. Yeah. And, and Jerry Stack and, um, you know, Kurt yeah, Thomas. Kurt, so it's like, just Kurt stack alone. Yeah, just alone. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? They had the locker alone. room. That's why he won yeah, 46 games. Right. And then after that, it's like, now Milwaukee start, yeah. they start, they start panicking. Uh. And then it's like, so now I'm in the mix where it's like, okay, well, you know, we bring Steven Jackson in, we bring Monte Ellis in, but these are my last two years. We're not winning. So it's like, there's, there wasn't no consistency. It was like, okay, boom, we gave you the ball the rookie year. All right, we're expecting you to do that. But it's like, I still need more help. Like, uh. I need somebody to, you know, give me a father figure type Love because I'm Donna's have... ass, I'm tight. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. A coach, so, I'm tight. Yeah. That's, that's what you I know. said. Like, that my only regret was I didn't, I didn't really be, I didn't give them the tools that made me what I was. Great. Yeah. It didn't. But I was, what, I, it's like, but was it like because... I got all the money, I got all the fame, and I want to, like, go, like, for the first time, have fun. But was right? it because you was hurt? I was hurt, so I wasn't practicing. So, but if, if you so, weren't you know, hurt, if yeah, you I'm weren't hurt, when I tore my Achilles, that's when I, was, when I, I was started. Hurt, then no, it was it was three times amount. a day. Like I remember when my my first and I like <laughs> Nick always tells a story, but it, it was true. We're down twenty, right? And he coach put the rookies in. The rookie, them niggas didn't do nothing, right? They didn't do nothing wrong. We the vets, we all we was fucking up, right? And I hit the coach and I said, if these young motherfuckers ain't ready, don't put them in the game, right? They didn't play 13 games after that. That was my fuck up. I, I, I'm, so, I'm thinking that we can right. still make a comeback, even though we was getting our ass. That's, that's, that's competition. Yeah, it was, it was I, I didn't want to do that to the rookies, but I needed them to understand how serious it was and what this next level was, but it got them benched for 13 games and we still play them. And it's like, I'd rather have the rookies than these motherfucking losers, because right. they already mentally checked out and we only like 15 games into the season. Right. But I fucked the rookies up over that, right? So I think veteran event, leadership. We is, have to really be mindful really of the shit we say it is. because yeah. you have a guy who's been looking at us in college, in high school, and he's trying to really get our approval. You don't like he's trying to get our approval. Like think about everybody who AI was coming for AI, right? He's trying to get your what? Approval. So as a veteran, we need to understand that yo, these little motherfuckers really trying to look up to us. We have to understand like. Hold on, man. Nah, we don't, we don't, we, we ain't doing this. Miami, what you doing in Miami? I ain't doing nothing, 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 no, fella. I'm gonna sit in the room. Even though I'm going out, I'm gonna tell him Wait. I'm sitting in my room because I don't want him to look at the dude I am now. I want him to look at the dude he see on TV. Wait, hold on. I'm not, I'm not waiting for another man's approval. I'm sorry. Like, I don't give a fuck who you are. But I'm not, I'm not. Like, as, a, as, a rookie, as a rookie, I wasn't looking for nobody's approval. But some people do. Why? Oh, because you're a grown ass you, man. Because because you, you, nigga, you're, you're you picking Hold on, hold on. You went to a team. You didn't that need had to. Michael Red, not Kobe Bryant. So you don't know what you would have did if you went to Kobe Bryant. I would have been. Tim no, I would have been working out. With, but what I'm saying is, I'm not. I, I have to do my job, so my approval is gonna be on what but, I do. But, but I'm telling you right now, if Kobe would have said, "Yo, hey, shorty, he just smushed Parker juice. Come to me to the club. I'm, I'm going to the club right now. I need you to show up. You would have did that because that's that Kobe Bryant. But what I'm saying is, but still, that's and I still would have been in the gym the next But that's the too. influence of what a a good veteran is. That's why I say I can't say I'm a good vet. Mm. I was a great. Mm. This like. 
Antoine Jameson, Larry Hughes, they were good vets to me. Okay. I failed them because I wasn't a good vet to the people who should have been. But because of a situation, because you got hurt. Mm. That's the only reason why, though. But. Right? That, yes. that's what when I took. Yeah, no, 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 no. The only reason why yes, you wasn't you stand on that. You said, because you said because that you if you're not time. hurt, you and wouldn't have went that route. Because you had time. I had time. But, you had, you had but time. I, can't, I can't take that because when, Le when I took Larry Hughes' spot. When he was hurt. He was still a good vet. Hmm. So I can't, I can't, I can't jump on in and say, oh, because I was hurt. Because when Larry, when I took, when Larry was hurt and I took his spot, and they, well, they gave me his spot, in those last 20 some games, he was still a professional. I mean, so I can't, you know what I mean? Hughes. But what I'm saying is I can't just, I can't take the easy way out of all because I was hurt. No, no, for sure. For the first time. No, for sure. Because the veteran that taught me that didn't do it. For sure. Mm. That's true. Right? Yeah. Like yeah. if I can say yeah. right now, and he is saying, if he was still on the team, my troubles never happened. None of it. He'd have talked you out of bringing the guns? He would have gave me the look. What the fuck you doing? Not, he would have never did sure. it. I would have never did it. He would have never, never talked to my husband. The argue, the gambling on the plane, that would have been shut it. down. And you, you know, know he don't talk. I wouldn't have had three baby moms. And you know Larry if Hughes, he don't, he don't speak. So, you know, my veteran, like, I didn't have to be a leader because he was motherfucker. He had me. Like, he'd look at me like, yo, I'll be looking like, am I shooting too much? He'd be like, like, keep doing you. Like, cool. Like, yo, hey, spin that motherfucker around. I bet. Like, you know what I mean? He, he understood who I was to the point where he knew. So when he left, I'm like, shit, y'all got no control over me now, goddammit. Mm. <laughs> Get it off the glass. Get off the glass. Right. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm on some dumb shit. So, so you talk about veteran leadership. Let's talk a little bit about Anthony Edwards. You got the chance to play with him in Minnesota. Uh, you said that he has a chance to be the next Michael, Michael Jordan. Jordan. So what do you think Ant-Man needs to do to get to that level to be the next Michael Jordan? Mike? I, I, I just say just continue being him. And I mean, Michael Jordan with the whole thing, not just only skill, right? Michael's able to cultivate a, a younger generation with his smile, the way he, you never seen Mike frown or tell a kid no. Even if you see him in media, he was always fun. He was just a likable person. You see Anthony Edwards, man. You see this man on interview, like you just can't help but to like the kid. He has the smile, he has a baby face, but when you get him between those eyes, it's- And he black as shit. He's he, a monster. <laughs> like Mike, he black, he black like Mike. So, but I think the numbers, I think his numbers in the playoffs uh, compared to Mike's and a lot of the top greats that's played in the playoffs, I mean, 21, 22 years old, he's up there with the best of them, so. Does he need to get out of Minnesota? He will get out of Minnesota. Okay. I mean, that's, that's, just, okay. what, that's just what happens. The evolution, okay. okay. And, then and, he, I, and that's and then no disrespect to Minnesota. No. It's just, you feel me, with that personality, he can change the world with basketball. With Where should he personality. go? Not to put you on the spot, it, where should he go? I got to go, I mean, obviously. Big market? It has to be big LA, market. New York. To get, have, for him to get the most... And then, again, I played in Minnesota. There's no diss on Minnesota. There's no diss on lower market teams, but he is the type of player that, he, that, that you need to see him. Okay. You need to see him. And there's no way Minnesota should have, I don't know, nine, ten TV games right now. Mm -hmm. So all the work he's putting in right now, and then of course he's going to put in, but it looks different when you get to see it than like mm -hmm. uh, go through an app and get it or I can't really get it the way I need to get it. It's different when you got 30 games on TV and you get to see that shit every night. Does he have that Jordan? Like, he has all that, of them. That practice, that everything. That. Everything. So, so you say his confidence. work ethic. Is I know his confidence. All confidence. Roof. This is amazing. Something I've no never seen before. I'm talking about first, like, like, I'm like, man, like, you, yeah, you gotta stay off your legs a little bit. Nah, nah, nah. I'm B I O G. For real, rest them a little bit. Okay, but just get in the cold tub with me. Fuck it. You don't want to stop practicing, just get in the cold tub with me then. Fuck it. All right, cool. That's all I got for you, though, OG. I'm in this bitch. Like, he in that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I, he was supposed to play football. Yeah, yeah, he, he, supposed, yeah he in that bitch. He dangerous. He a killer. I like it. He a killer. I so like from your, your time together, what's your favorite Anthony Edwards story? Because got the chance to, to talk and work with him a little bit. He thinks he's the best at everything. He has no problem talking shit. He wants all the smoke. So what's your favorite Ant story? <laughs> I don't know. We, I don't know. We play Madden, and, and I, you know, everybody like to think they're a good Madden player. <laughs> you know, everybody like to think, and I don't know. We play Madden, and like he, man, I bet you hundred, two hundred dollars. I, I twenty one owe you. Not beat me. <laughs> like twenty one owe me. I man, you know, bad. He was only twenty one. You ain't go twenty one. What's wrong with you? Hey. Twenty one me. Next game, twenty one me. I scored one touchdown. He all right. Bet back. Twenty one me. Like, like, boy is addicted to competition, like, and I like that. Yeah. And you don't see that 
from a young guy. Because if, if it's that, then they're missing something else. Like, I mean, like I say, never smoke, never drink. Loves competition, loves the gym. I mean, not a lot of guys that was doing it at that age mm -hmm. in that series except Mike and Cole. Feel me? And you talked about Shea, too, in your time with the Clippers working with him. What have you seen for him, and what do you think his ceiling can be? He didn't know. Like, Shea didn't know. Shea, Shea came in, he was wide eyed, bushy tail. He didn't know. And to, you gotta think, that year it was me and Avery Bradley. You talking about some of the best on ball defense in the NBA at that time. He was cooking our ass. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> Straight up. Like, just raw, too. No, no plays, and you know, Doc. Like, you gotta think, I don't, if y'all didn't, like, Shea took my spot, like, seventh game in the season. I mean, I got it back after we traded for Avery Bradley and we made our push in the playoffs. But that year, when we uh, went against uh, uh, a Golden State, like I, he took my spot, right? But I'm different vet. He get there, I'm telling him, hey, man, like, don't stop until you take my spot. That's go iron pushes iron. Same thing I tell T-Man. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, like, you can either be a vet, you feel me? You could be one of them motherfucking vets that got an imprint on them, these kids' lives. You feel me? So like that was my that was my thing. Like, yo, you're here to take my spot. I know what it is. Fuck, I'm play, I play the point, you're a six-five point. One plus one is two. Like, don't stop until you get it. And I ain't gonna stop, because I want it. You know what I'm saying? And they just made a way for both of us to work at that time. We damn near almost beat Golden State. We took them to six. We started two rookies. Him and Shannon. Yeah. That's wild, that's wild. Let's I mean, you know, you talk about Aunt Gill. I want you to give Anthony Edwards your best pitch for why he needs to do like Minnesota did. Bro, bro you trying Come to, to get him to Lakers. L.A.? Yeah. <laughs> Come to these Lakers. You, man. You can, that is tampering. You are not involved in the trouble. league. You, are, you have no... Uh, you I mean, still, you high. How can you get... You, you high. You only get text from underdog and four My people's high. 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 You know what I'm sorry. But, Pat, when you... When you say when you say he needs to make a move to a bigger market, would somewhere like Atlanta be an option? Hell no. I don't know. It's not big enough. It's not big enough. It's not big enough. It's not big enough. Come on, you know. But he can have Atlanta. You need to look at the Chicago jersey. LA, New York, Chicago, Miami, I mean, but Boston. It does well. Obviously, it does well because he's in a small market. You feel me? It does well. But like for him, his personality is huge. His personality is too it's too big. It's just too big. Now we ain't even talking about his game. We're just talking about his personality. Like, that needs to be displayed. Because, like, it's other kids like that who need to see shit like that, who need to be like, okay, I'm different, but I'm different in Anthony Edwards' way. It's okay to be different. You feel me? And I'm not saying he can't do it in Minnesota. I'm just saying it's a little hard. For sure, for sure. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your time with the Lakers. Uh, you know, you and Westbrook had an interesting relationship prior to becoming teammates on that Lakers squad. It was, it was amazing to see y'all come together and bond, spend holidays together, and, and just the friendship that you guys had. But we talk about Russ all the time, and, and we all love Russ. I'm a UCLA guy. He's a UCLA guy. I've known Russ since he was, you know, coming out of high school. Why does Russ uh, get so much slander? And do you feel like he's unfairly targeted by the media and fans? No. I think that in this world, you get out what you put in, right? Mm. If he didn't have triple-double Russ face, they wouldn't critique him as much. They're a fair statement. Some people say yes, some people say no. We don't know. If he had the demeaning of Ricky Rubio, would people critique him so much? Probably not. But would he be the same killer as he is? Probably yes, but it'll come off a little different. Like, people fear him. And when, when people fear you, you get, it's either, you go be up here, you go be broke down. That's what come, they broke Brian down. I mean, that's come with the shit. You know what I'm saying? Being great, come with the shit. Averaging triple double two times, like, something no one's, you doing some shit no one's ever done. Like, feel me? Like, you, you have, a, you're in your own lane. So, of course, him coming off the bench, obviously, him coming off the bench to, and I'm starting, feel me? A guy who we got into it with, no, whoa, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, it was just a bad combination. It, um, they should have started me, Austin, Russ, LeBron, AD. That's how I should have started. Obviously, I'm not a coach, you feel me? I'm not here trying to, you feel me? Politic or how things should have went, but that should have been a starting lineup since we walked in the door. You got to think, we started Kendrick Nunn. He's just coming back from injury. Mind you, we started Kendrick Nunn all preseason, but we starting, you know, hopefully you get his rhythm, all that. You know, in the dough, it should have been me, AR, Russ. Because when we did start that way, preseason, I don't know if y'all watched, but preseason, yeah. I know we played Phoenix Suns in Vegas. Mm -hmm. We started that way. Yeah. It was up by 23 points. Mm -hmm. I'm like, one of the teams just left the Western Conference, and all the guys played. 
you know, but we didn't go that way. Coach had different ideas. You know, we started off Lonnie Walker and AD got hurt. You know, one plus one is two. You know what I'm saying? Who playing point with you and Russ out there? It don't matter. Interchangeable. It don't matter. Bring it up, whoever bring it up. Russ, bring that bitch. I just, okay, cool. I'm Run corner, play. I'm corner three. I feel my fit in how I ever go. Yep. AR go beat him. He go play off the catch. LeBron, he go fill in the pieces and and AD, he go, we go, we go maintain it. But we couldn't. We Y'all thought never we started act. Lonnie Walker and and, you know, it's no different between Lonnie Walker and... You know, and Gil, had, Gil had some opinions. <laughs> we started Lonnie Walker, you know what I'm saying? Like, so we were still trying to figure it out. You know, obviously, as a first-year coach, he's trying to figure it out. And we're y'all never, ask him? Y'all ever ask him? Uh, you know, that's you know, our job is to play. play. I'm yeah. just saying to ask y'all like Lonnie is to coach. Y'all like Lonnie Walker? I do. No, no, I love no, no, no. Lonnie. Oh, okay. But yeah, I love Lonnie. But I like Lonnie on that team where we had a six-man come in and do, be exactly who you are. You, you, we all played. There's always someone in a starting lineup. We were like, eh, that's not him. He should be on the bench. He should be starting, right? It's like, I don't know why coaches sometimes don't understand that. Like, you ask your players who they play with, right? You have a vision of how you want it to look, but there's groups of players that actually play well together. Mm. Ask your team sometimes. Do a survey. Who do you like to start with? Who you like to start with? Like, so we can see what I get because I'm seeing something that you guys are you guys are seeing and, something different. And then you don't never to, do. And then you don't all that all the beef about Russ. Maybe none of that happens. Like it's a way of, you know, I want to be a coach when I'm done. Like I love the game that much. And it's ways that you have to operate your team without over managing it or over coaching it. Sometimes you just gotta put the dominoes out there. And with human beings and basketball players, they go form whichever way they go form. So was it bad for the team for Russ to come off the bench? I thought it was. I thought it was. The whole way? The whole I way thought, through? I thought it was bad for Russ. Yeah, that was he bad. was the heartbeat of the team. That's a horrible fucking decision. Yeah. And it's a hard Let's decision. Just call it it's a is. difficult decision. Like That's why I asked the question, because it's, it's like... It's a difficult decision. Did, like that, did that affect the team? And I, I don't think it was Hell a decision yeah. that was made... I don't think it was a decision that was made this year. I think it was a decision that was made based on the season the before. Last, yep. And I don't think that's fair. Based on his production? Based on this, the this slander he was getting from the West Brick the and Frank, all that stuff. The, the, the Frank Vogel, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That era. Oh, Frank was giving them some. I mean, but shit? just, you know, no, just they the wasn't whole, winning with it. Per, yeah, it, it, it didn't look like it. Oh, it looked like it was his fault. It, 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 you had to put it on somebody. Yeah. Else. He's the only one playing. But they don't blame. But, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. As I'm a, put it on Brown. But that's a, as a coach. You give somebody. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. As a, as a coach, right? Hard. And we've seen it in, in um, USA basketball with Ann. How the fuck are you a coach and you're trying to actually win and you already preconceived what you're going to do? Uh, mm-hmm. You didn't even let it play out yet. Uh, so you're already saying, oh, I'm going to make you the You're not even letting the talent dictate what you're going to do. You're already saying, this is how it's going to be. But and it, was, it was hard on them, dog. You got to think for Coach Ham, man. Like, it was hard. And it's hard coming from Eastern Conference to Western Conference, first off. Like, that's way different. You mm-hmm. feel me? So... Obviously, he has voices. He has things that he wants to do. It's, as, as a head coach, it's things that he wants to establish. And there's also things that you got players who's been in this shit before, like, nah, coach, man, we go do this shit or do this shit. So, like, from the beginning, he was putting, like, he did a hell of a job with the team still. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He did a hell of a job with the team still, but, like, do I think that team had a chance to be very successful? Yes, I do. Still do. Mm-hmm. It's just things weren't used right, you know? And I understand, you feel me? And Kendrick Nunn's coming off injury. You got to get his confidence back or you go lose him, you feel me? So you, you feel me? Well, I got to see how this look. AD don't really like to play five. He want to play four, but you feel me? He need a big, because that's how the reason y'all won in the bubble, because you had a five next to him. So he, okay, and then I just left Brooke Lopez, so it does sound right. Or Kendrick Nunn, I, you know, Lonnie Walker, I like your game too. You know, it was just a lot. It was just a lot. It was a lot. But he juggled it well, though. Yeah. I mean, he definitely juggled yeah. it. Yeah. First year head coach. Yeah. First year head coach. What, what happened? What happened, happened Gil? We had, to trade, we had to trade Russ to the Clippers. Well, hey. That's not juggling it well, huh? We about yeah. to benefit. Okay. I appreciate it. Hey, but, but I mean, like, but look what Russ did. did. 26, what's so six, and six. With no, the- no, what's so funny is <laughs> I gave him a better grade than I gave Frank Vogel, and he won a championship. I like him. I ain't never, I ain't never been under Frank Vogel. I like him. I like him. It, it's a lot of freedom. It's a lot of freedom in his offense. He let you be. He started me. You feel me? When I wasn't even shooting the ball well, so I have not one bad word, bad word to say about him. about Coach Ham. You feel me? Like I just didn't agree with that. Who who should be starting at the time? I felt like. Okay, cool. That's cool, but we got a we got a hey. secret recipe behind here that motherfuckers ain't ever seen right, before. Right, like your right. point, get what you said the other day about Ant Man and the Olympic team. Right, yeah. he looked down the motherfucking roster and be like, <laughs> "Nigga, I'm playing behind Kendrick. Like, fuck, like, really? Yeah. Like, I'm, 
he started before. Do you know who I? Yeah, that, but that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. you, you, as a coach, you have to really understand like personality. Like Austin, if I start you or I don't start you, you're gonna give me what you're gonna give me. If I bring him off the bench, I might lose this. Because he's looking at you and the rest of this team like, I, who the fuck are these guys? Oh. So when you, when you thought about bringing Russ off the bench, this, he was done. And I think... So, he was done. And I think Austin Reeves would have got more. If, yeah, if, if, if we would have started the team, me, Russ, AR, Braun, AD, and it's, again, no disrespect to anybody on the team, I believe AR would have got more, more bread, too. Yeah, you know, because we would have so, been winning so many fights. We was, so yeah. let me ask you this. It's crazy. So this is a group decision, right? <laughs> right? This is a fucking group decision that's being made here. Did nobody in the coaches meeting or none of this shit be like, you know that's a fucking horrible idea, right? Like, Obviously, I understand where the coach is going to stand here. Right. You don't want to really challenge the head coach authority at the time. I get that. But it was more thought put into this shit and conversation put into it. It just wasn't he woke up, I'm going to bring Russ off the bench. Don't hire exactly. me as a coach, right. an assistant coach. But they expect you not to say shit, though. But in this situation, don't hire me because I'm going to tell you. And then they got, but that's then they bring but don't hire me because. because yeah, too. yeah, so they got. Your veteran, first year, I want you to be assistant coaches years. around. That's why you hired me. Yeah. yeah. That's dumb. Okay. Yeah, they got a veteran at assistant point, coaches around them, at, though. You know what I'm saying? At what Pat, point does, do they start, um, do they put Russ on the bench, though? No, but I Did he start out starting, right? I don't, no, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think you ever even think about putting him on the bench. But that's there's easy. No he started out, right? He no. started out starting, and then no. they put him on. Then he went to the I, it reserve. Was, I forgot how it like was. Third, I think he's fifth game. Fifth game. That's yeah. what I'm saying. He started out, no, and they, no, they, they no. abandoned it, it ship was quickly. It was preseason. Listen, my preseason. So they watched the preseason game. If they didn't do that, the, they had a conversation about this dog. Right. Before, For it even to be a fucking yeah. thing. Like they trying to give him a chance. Like, let's see what he do. Let's get let's give him two games. Fucking thing. They talked about this. Guarantee the motherfucker talked about it in their coaches meeting. Mm. And that's, that's the hard decision to make too though. Feel me? It's like, not it's a hard decision on, to make. Let's be hard. honest. It's it's not a hard decision. Well, if he's not producing in the starting not, lineup. Not producing. What what I, and I'm not talking about basketball. My thing, I'm just talking about LA media. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, the media. It's, a, it's okay. a hard decision. Like when you come in a coach, you coach for Milwaukee Bucks is different than coaching for the Lakers. Even though you're <laughs> coaching for an NBA team, it's just different. You feel me? Them lights, any decision you make will be broke down to the tedious form. Have you ever seen it? That's just how it goes to LA. If you're playing well, it's gonna look like you're playing great. When you run into a motherfucker LA, man, you on the high street, man, this motherfucker is averaging 12. <laughs> <laughs> it just look good because you're on TV all the time. Mm -hmm. And if you're going through a cold streak, you're gonna look like you trash. That's just how it is in LA. You feel me? So like, I don't even think it was production. I just, just think it was, man, what the what what LA was saying. <laughs> that's what's because it's production. Seventeen, six, and five. Right. Like, <laughs> motherfucker, that's a whole song. And lead. I mean, not, we not even talking. He broke the record off triple doubles off the bench. Like, yeah, half a season. Like, no one's even talking about it. Yeah. It's the craziest thing in the world. The man has broke every fucking record, and people just hey, you be bum ass. He shot 41, 40 percent from three. So people this, call him Russ Brick. How? Russ Brick? Yeah, there's two How? people. How? Because two people. Yeah, that's like the motherfucker asking Allen Iverson to come off the bench. Like, All right. are you fucking serious? All right. Man? In Memphis. Like, for like Mike, really, for Mike Conley. But, <laughs> like, really? I don't give a really, Like, really? But, but you know the problem. But that's like, the me, problem, come off, though. I'm Chuck. That's the problem, though. You are you, and you know you shouldn't come off the bench. But if you want to keep playing. But you have to. Yeah. Right, but, you, but now. You sitting there like but this. The mindset, right. But the mindset of him is different, though. The mindset is like, okay, I'm on the bench because. Obviously, I haven't produced as I should. So now I'm in, I gotta produce, which yeah. means that might. Pressure. Fuck a swing, swing. That might be, I gotta go get a driving bucket. this bitch. <laughs> Feel me? So now you done, you done assumed the role based on what another motherfucker think, and you playing a type of ball that you think that, 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 that the top head don't want you to play. But you think it's the perfect way to play, man. They want me to produce I, off the bench. I'm going to be the lead in this. I'm going to be the lead in that. And it don't fit. They're changing your game. But when you could just, you feel me, have conversations of, you feel me, cool, this is what we want, this is what we want. And that's, you know, and that's, that'd be the hard that. part. You feel me? It'd be, it'd be hard for these coaches to come in, especially first year and have these conversations with these, you talking about a star-studded motherfucking team. Yeah. You talking about three Hall of Fames in the dough. First ballots. Three of them. You feel me? And you saying one come off the bench. Yeah, you feel me? You saying one come off the bench for a motherfucker. <laughs> and and another, I'm not, one, another one finna come off the bench and go to state. Like, how does that sound? Another Hall of Famer. So what's the problem? Allegedly. They better bring him, they better bring him off the bench. 
If they want a chance, hmm. they would bring that nigga, the cone, off the bench. Sound like you got something on your chest over there, nah. Mr. B. Uh, I'm just asking <laughs> question. Like, that shit going to be discussed. Go ahead, he, he I don't think it's going to be discussed. I think, it's, I think it might work. You think that Warriors, Steph, I, As long CP3? as you got Looney, and people yeah. call me crazy. But he should come off the bench. you got Looney and you got Draymond, you got a chance. I don't know how all that other stuff fit. I ain't a coach yet. I'm still a hooper. Mm -hmm. I want. I can't wait to see how how, how I shape up in the season. Oh but long as you got them two motherfuckers, mm -hmm. Draymond Green and Looney, you go put yourself in position because they go clean up all the nastiness oh, of the man. team. I'm whatever with you. you mm -hmm. Whatever nah. you lack in. Yeah. I just want how it's gonna look at winning. Hey yo, I got a question. I think Steph don't have to have the ball as much. He don't have to. I think he preserve more energy that yeah. way. Hey, I got a question. Okay. I want to know. Shit out somebody. All right, since we've been here, since we you know kicking it, we chilling and all that. Yeah, what do I know? Know what? What do I know? So you like, said, yo, BJ, know what's up. So like, what you think I know? Here we go. Um, I'm gonna tell you. So, as a, <laughs> as a hooper, here right? we go. Mm -hmm. We here now. As a hooper, as a hooper, you uh, you run into certain people <sighs> mm -hmm. that you just know, like, all right, you can feel them. For sure. Yeah, you I can, can feel your energy. Yeah, I, I, you, I could, I could, I could feel you. I could feel D'Lo his first couple years in Lonzo Ball, first couple years like. Oh, I'm about to rip y'all heads off. That's the feeling I had for you. Okay. And that's what I knew that you knew. You knew that I knew that. I knew that. You think I knew that? I think when you, if you was to play Patrick Bradley, I don't think you would have had a. Uh, I don't think you would have went out the night before. For sure, I'm going out regardless. Who okay. Well, then I was wrong. Mm -hmm. But we only played three times. What was your stats? We only played three times. Like we only played three times. But you went out. Did you go out? I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, don't but I'm just saying, like, we played three times. So I'm just trying to figure out what do I know. No, that's what I'm As being, as being like, as being who I am. Because I feel like, if I get, not, but because I feel like, because I feel like if I get in shape in three months, this nigga here. everybody gonna know who, what's up. But I, I, I think, no, no, <laughs> you know? no, 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 I think, no, 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 but I think, I think this mindset, right, I obviously, obviously we're, I don't know. 19, 20, 21 then, right? Yeah. Uh, we 30 some now. So obviously, as you grow up in your, your daily walks in life, obviously each man begins to have his own confidence, confidence within himself. At, the, at that 21 year old you, I don't think you had that same mindset of like. That 21, now, I was averaging 19 a game in the but, league. But you scored him. Huh? No, no, I, listen, I understand. I mean, what I, I mean, at 21, I was in Milwaukee, so that's yeah. my second year in the league. No, so I, I know what I'm doing. No, I understand what both of you said, right? I get it. I just knew when I no. faced Brandon Jennings, I was like, okay, cool. It's the motherfucker that was overseas before me. He had a better job. This is the motherfucker who was, I was a 42th pick. Mm -hmm. he was a, but look, I'm so fucked up. I thought you was six. I even rounded you up. No, you no was I was 10. 10. No, I was 10 because of like, my mouth. Because, up. because of my mouth. Because yeah. I had the same energy. You know what so. I'm saying? So like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, yeah, I, I want to run into him. And at that time, I don't really think nobody wanted to run into me. Because mm -hmm. I was, I was, I was mm -hmm. going against a lot of these. This, mm -hmm. Listen, that's the only motherfucking reason I got drafted. Mm -hmm. Man, I was overseas. I didn't go to college. I got drafted from Ukraine, second division. So mm -hmm. I don't know motherfucking scouts coming to motherfucking second division Ukraine. All my work was put in those motherfucking NBA workouts. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I know motherfuckers like, man, it's got to think. It's the most draft, most point guards the NBA ever drafted. We drafted 23 point guards that year. I don't know. I just think I just feel like at 21, if I don't tear my, if I don't get hurt, my, my I'm an all star, so I'm not really fearing nobody. Like I, I don't know what's up with nothing. I, listen, listen, I'm just I, saying. I'm just standing yeah. on my. No, I get. I feel the respect. Yeah, respect. Yeah. Like I, no, 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 as I'm a competitor. No, for sure. I mean, as a competitor, you, no, no, you better. But it's always like, it's always love though. Like, but like I, yeah. it's just. No, what, you know. he, what he's saying is, trust me. Listen. He drunk. I'm no no no. I'm averaging 29. Right. Kobe. Stop. Right. Rajah Bell, stop. Matrix, stop. All first team, all defense. Y'all can let that shit go. I'm busting your ass. One person I didn't want to see, Marcus Banks. <laughs> Tuck. <laughs> going to sleep early. Nigga, I don't give a fuck what team he was on. Oh, that motherfucker going to pick me up full court. Oh, I'm going to sleep. Everybody else in the NBA who thought they played defense, stop. You didn't even have the makeup to guard me. He did. Five minutes. Listen, I don't give a fuck. If he played three minutes a game, four minutes a game, two minutes a game, I went to sleep early just so for those two, three minutes. Marcus Banks, every time. We played 12 times, he shut me down 12 times. Mm -hmm. It's just the nature of the beast. Best defensive player I ever played against in my life, 
Marcus Banks. That's, it's just, you feel me? I mean, no, we cleared up. I mean, I mean, I mean listen, we cleared up. I just had to ask. I mean, I'm going to ask. I understand, like, it don't matter. How was it when we played? I mean... I, don't, I mean, it was nasty. It was nasty. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. nasty. No matter what you dig that, what was the stats? <laughs> I mean, look where, where they at. Look them up. Bruh. It was three you times. You already looked at we it. We played three times. And we what'd you three, score? We played what'd three times. Score, it was nasty hoop for both of us. <laughs> it was nasty hoop he's for not, both of us. He's not so, talking about his offense. He's talking about I, 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 what I, I, what I, you I'm score. All I'm saying, it was nasty hoop is what I'm saying. It was nasty hoop. So you played nasty. It was nasty hoop. It was nasty hoop. I played three. It was nasty. Yeah, I get that. Right. But that's, but that's not the only, but okay, we cleared it up. Let it go. Nah, but that's I, it. But I that's all, that's all I want to do. Okay. <laughs> if all they right. play bad, they not giving you credit exactly. for the defense. Exactly. That's all I'm saying. That's no one credits it. that. Okay, I'll play bad. Okay. So, so, okay. Nah. I'm getting this shape. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of this shit. So, I'm, sick of, I'm sick of that. Hey, I'm sick of this shit. Let's play shape. once right now. So, look. Go play once. I'm working out. I'm working out. I'm working out. Wait, wait. Do you think this summer, Pat? Let's go. He was pretending that he had 20, but he don't even really have. No, no, no. I know I didn't have 20. No, no, no. No, I didn't have 20. What do you have? I didn't have 20. I had like, I had like eight. Eight, seven, seven. Yeah, so, we, so from that, I've done my I remember job. one. I remember one from time. That, I remember my experience remember, was with Brandon Jennings. It's one game. It was, it, it's, one game it's one game. It's one game. It's one game I'm mad Pat didn't play. It's one game I'm mad Pat didn't play. It's one game I'm mad Pat didn't play. So listen. You know what game that is. New York. When I was on New York and I started, then I gave Montrez and them 35. But maybe that's why you gave him, because I didn't play. I was no no, no, no. So I was waiting on you to play. Pat, Pat not no, 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 no. So Pat didn't play? No, no. Out. But listen, that's the funny the goals, thing. That's the funny thing. Pat got up and said something. I'm like, come on here. Like, you, wanna be, you ain't playing tonight. He got 35. I started. That was the first time they I started. They should have sent you and, in when he had 12. And, and that was the first time I started Why, that year. Why, Pat at? So I, so I just felt like whoever was that night was going to get it. I, I, don't, I mean, we can find and, out next year in the, in the Drew. You know, I ain't done I'm going to get in shape. That's but that's not thing. the only thing we had to clear no, up no, no, here. No. That's not the only thing that's we had to clear up in here. Yeah. That's not the only story. thing we could clear up here. Please tell the story. Please that's not the only thing we can't clear up here. Please tell the story. So that's it. No, no, we're done. No, Pat, we're done. I'm with all the bullshit. No, 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 Pat, we're done. all that. We ain't the only thing we came to clear up he here. Quit. So he, wait, he quit. Wait. He quit. Tell the huh? story. I, Coach Ham said you quit. I don't have to lie. You got to ask. Oh, tell the story. What story? We hooped. I finished the workout. You did. Okay. So you said you made me quit. I don't. I don't. I ain't never worked out with a person that didn't finish. The you workout. said mm. you mm. made me mm. quit. That, 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 I, 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 on you, your podcast, you, you said Rashad McCann's mm. no one. Y'all know what he talked like, about. We hoopers. We want you. You said. We want to say I'm talking about. Like, look, but look, but look. <laughs> hey, Pat, see, this one was crazy. Wait, like, out. I don't even know Pat like that Wait. to even, like, hear those nah, words nah, come nah, out of nah, his nah, mouth nah, like that. No, 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 no. You knew who so, you were going to do that. that day. But I can't do that. No, no, no. no. One thing, I, 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 you I, know I, that. I, 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 I remember what. I can't do that. I'm not going to say a nigga don't know him. I get this a lot still. I get this a lot still. Why y'all interrupting the story? I can't rhyme with that. Why you interrupting the story? It ain't no story. It should be. I've never worked out with somebody. If you made me quit. I've never worked out with somebody and some, and, and, and we're working out to get, make an NBA team. We ain't working out for no motherfucking AAU team. Okay. We ain't working out for no this Joe Blow fucking league. So we are working out get for to the, the Los back. Angeles Lakers. Hey. I finished the workout. Coach Han was the motherfucking person running the workout. He came to me before the season started. Hey, man, you remember that workout we had, man? You, Mr. Shane, you remember he quit? I forgot about it. Damn, I did make a motherfucking quit. Damn. Damn, Damn. Darvin. Okay. Okay. So, okay, so, so <laughs> here we go. So here oh, we go. Recently. He, he said my, there was no story, Brandon. 13 years ago. Brandon. He said there was no story, so let me tell it. Okay, I mean, hey, he said he. It was Darv that said it. No, I said we I, doing. I just said I listen. Just I we do doing the jump test, all the little metric tests before we that. do the workout. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that. That's that losing oh, no, mentality hey, shit. Hey, I don't hey, hear that hey. shit. That shit don't go hey. to me, man. Yeah, so I'm, I'm ready jump, for that. I jump up. I'm ready for that. I jump up. I'm ready up. for that. Uh, I'm, ready granted, for that. Uh, granted, I'm ready for this. Pat, can I I'm tell the story? I'm ready. That ain't my fault. <laughs> hey, look, you ain't sweating ready. now. He look, ain't ready. Gilbert did the shit the other day. He ain't ready. That's what happens when you when you on the other side of the story. You start get the relax. No, I just you triggered. Nah, I'm no, you triggered. You been calm the whole time. You happen right now. You been calm the whole time. You happen. The reason I was working out for the Lakers, we ain't time for a favor. It was a favor workout. My agent, Mitch Kupchak, gave me the UNC, yo, we gonna bring you in. So when he didn't call me that day to go in for the workout, he said, Shy, this is gonna be easy. I said, who I'm working out with? 
He said, we don't know. Some, somebody from overseas. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. So I said, what's his name? Buddy in the back with that knife. I said, what's yeah. his name? <laughs> Crazy motherfucker. I said, what's his name? What's his name? Yeah. He said, Pat Be I said, I, yeah. I, I, I said, Pat Beverly. You don't I, know. You know. I don't know who that is. You know that. <laughs> but whoever it is, he, he's not in my way. Say less. He's not in my way. And then who happened? is he? Niggas know. Who? And what happened? Who is he? Oh, he a point guard. What? Why they got me working what out happened? with a point guard? So, what, 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 what they got me working but, out with a point guard? Hold on, so, but, but, so, hold on, so, hold on. So, so I do the jump. I'm not going to front. I do the jump. Anybody that's working out for the NBA team, we not fucking around. Right. Like, like, what are you like, talking like, about? If I got a chance to work out for an NBA team, I'm not fucking around. So look. Like, I don't, I, like, I don't you, give a look, fuck. They already promised me the spot. Oh. Okay. They promised, okay, they promised me the spot. So after the workout was done and I said I couldn't go no more, Mitch met me at half court and said, Shot. What's that mean? I don't need you. I didn't need you to work. But I got drafted by the Lakers. Hey, How did that work? Mitch, Mitch, Mitch said I, I did you. not. I got drafted by the Lakers. Brandon, Brandon you see, he not letting me. He let. He not let. He's still oh, getting he explaining. He's, no, he's still getting the explaining. He's still getting the explaining. No, I, 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 so go ahead, listen, go ahead, go ahead, listen, my nigga. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So if Mitch telling me, listen, Shaw, you haven't played in a year. We need to see. We need to see some footage, bro. Go overseas, get some footage. We got you. This is Mitch UNC Connect, half court. I say, Mitch, man, I can't go no more. He said, don't even worry. We didn't bring you in here to go. Look what who the fuck we, does that have to do with We me? didn't bring you in to go because I didn't quit, <laughs> nigga. I already had the spot. You was the motherfucker that was just in there, nigga. So why you? You was just in there. That, 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 we're not talking about the people that's supposed to be. I wanted to kill you, my nigga. I didn't. Want I'm it. like, yo, I you're a point guard. You don't got a chance. You didn't have a chance. But I did. You're a point guard. Okay. You didn't have a fucking chance so you, in the world, so you nigga. Never you still then. don't got a chance in the world, that's nigga. You, say. you would right. never <laughs> have a chance. My name matched up to yours in any capacity. In any capacity, you don't got a chance, nigga. We have a chance. You gotta prove yourself against me. Nigga. I don't court. gotta prove shit. Up here. I didn't have to prove right, myself right, against right, Pat Beverly. Right, hold on, hold what on. the fuck I look like? No, 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 what the no, no, fuck no. I don't have to you, now, you, nigga? Because I will you murder you now. I will murder you now. I will murder you now. No, no, no. Be a real nigga. Ask him. If you can't go no more. Ask him. I had a second degree ankle sprain, my nigga. I'm done. Y'all can't be no real now you done? Now you done? You said Darwin told you. You said, oh, Darwin told me you quit. Oh, Darwin told me. I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. So Darwin yeah. told me. Now all of a sudden, you, Yo. oh, oh, don't talk to Yo. me. So oh, the, so the angle, so he twists his angle? I don't know, I don't know. He don't so know. He angle. I don't quit. know. No, I'm trying to figure out. So he twists his angle? He said he made me quit. Ask him what he was doing to make me quit. Beating you in the workout. Beating me in a shoot. Yeah. We're shooting jumpers. We were playing one on no, one. No, we win. We did one up and down. That's so, why so I couldn't go. Which one? We did one up and down. His story We did one up and down. We did one up and down. I'm going to just be honest. <laughs> we did one up and down. Oh, any hooper no. We did one. Any hooper no. If you playing and trying out for an NBA team. I'm not trying out. You trying out, nigga. You trying out. And that's why you got to give 130%, nigga. He promised me the spot. You in there. No, no. You in there just to fucking be there, nigga. But not one You're not there to do anything else. Just have another nigga in there with me. But no. But What you talking about? The problem is. But look, I know y'all niggas is teaming up. No. Y'all should high five each other. No, no, no. High no, five no. each other. <laughs> Y'all <laughs> niggas is crazy. Y'all <laughs> niggas, hey. And Ask now. the chat if it's obvious. Just say, is it Only obvious? Only just the playoffs one. You know the Ask niggas. the chat. Just ask them this. Is it obvious? Is it? Uh, can we get the is, is it obvious? <laughs> ask them that. You know? Is it? Obvious. Just, don't ask them you, nothing else. Ask you that. No, ask Do they see why, why, why what I ask see? Is, is it obvious? Can we get the poll? Wait, wait, wait. Hey, I ain't asking nothing else. I'm trying to figure out. Because I just backed you on the whole. Back me what? What back you? We're trying to figure out. Like, I'm just asking the middle. I'm asking the middle. Did you have a bad game or did he play good defense? I don't. We don't know. We don't. They don't, what which, one, which one was it? I had a, I we had a great game. Why well, I can't have a great game? Did you have a bad game or did he play good defense? I played good he, he defense. He played good defense. Okay. He did. He did so play good defense. So what he said is valid. And what I when said about said, you Brandon is valid. Brandon Jennings, no. 
He yeah. said Brady's in his note. I said, okay. Valid. I said, okay. I don't know shit. I didn't quit for shit. So, I didn't quit because so, Pat Beverly was out there. Oh, so you quit because you was hurt? Yes, nigga. Okay, all right, then. I, my, 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 my ability. I actually played the game, so Made I can't go physical physical ability. Ability. Your ability, ability I got, got, if you my ain't stats, got an ability to make nobody quit, what it is, that's what it is. So I can't go off. Ain't no ability. What you mean? Is it obvious? What the fuck is y'all talking about? Is it obvious? I asked the chat. Is it obvious? I didn't cap. I just do we think it's obvious? Is it obvious? Or did he have an ego issue? No, no, no. I didn't cap. No, I know we're not the truth. Let me bring it in. Let me bring it in. Is it obvious? It's the truth, though. Let me bring it in. Yes or no? Yes or no? Is it obvious? So we asked the chat. Is it obvious? Forty-seven percent said yes. Fifty-three percent said no. Forty-seven. Woo! It's still true. Wait, 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 but this you is the first did, time I heard about it. You quit. It's, it's obvious. obvious. You said that word too. No, if you don't feel uh, Get over the boss. It's right. obvious. It's the first time it's I heard about it. It's obvious, my nigga. 47%. Y'all right. right. need to chill. That's we got to wrap this up in a second, but I got one more question. Right. One more question right. for Pat. All right. It's, it's becoming obvious. So you signed with the Sixers. Wait, wait, hold on. You signed with the Sixers. What's becoming oh, what's obvious? I don't know. That's no, no, we don't know. No, 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 no. I got a question. What's, what's becoming ask obvious? Ask the chat. It's forty-seven percent. Don't ask me. I just ask. Question. I want to know what is it obvious? What did you present to us? No. I just. Hey. I'm confused. It's fifty-two percent. Now I got to depend on air. I don't know. Hey, that's how we work. And that's how we work on this show. Okay. We go to the chat. That's what they do all the time. Okay. Go to the chat. Is it obvious? Okay, got it. I got it. I got it. No. What is obvious? He just hurt now. He ain't even helping. All right, all right, all right. Before we get off. So what is obvious? I don't know. I just, just, we, the yeah, chat don't know. Said no. I, no, no, I got a question. Have you, if you work out with somebody, yeah. right? I got a. Mm, just, just, let me, just let me get the. Just let me get the. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So if you, if you, if you, have you ever worked out with somebody and ended the workout? True. Because your ankle hurt. I'm asking you. I've, I've. Started a workout. Started a workout. Healthy. Everything cool. The story comes about we was just shooting, then Damn that changed screen, when we were playing one on one, growing. then that, that changed talk. when we were stretching, then that changed when we were jumping. Like he talking, I, 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 I always talking. Like, Y'all niggas in the rubber. I ain't never. Fuck I don't here. give a fuck. I don't play games, so I was hurt. Yeah, it, it, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, for sure. We all, all right. Yeah. No, no. I left a workout in Boston, and the niggas in Boston said they ran me off the court. All right. Did they? Did, did they? You pulled a blicky on them. Did they? No, no. My did they, did my Achilles. Did they run you off the court? Gilbert. I can say no, but they're gonna say yes. Gilbert, I didn't ask them. I asked you. But that's what I'm saying. Me, it's two. Oh. Hey, hey, can I, can I, can I oh. stay? What type of workout? No, I heard my. What, what, what type of workout? It wasn't, Thank you, it was Gilbert. One, but I, that's me, one, nigga. It wasn't a one-on-one on one 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 shit. One. You was in there to rebound, nigga. That's not true. Rebound, nigga. You got, but he got drafted. They ain't here to watch you. But the Lakers drafted. They not in here to watch you. But they drafted. But they drafted. They not in here to watch you. So something adding up. They not in here to watch you. So why drive a person that can't? Where is there to rebound? You know this cat. They not in here to watch you. You know I'm in all places. It's obvious, my nigga. Pups, pups. Hey, it's obvious, my nigga. Pups, man. I don't care. They not in here. The but how is it? They do the chat. Who do you think is telling you? We don't even talk about who they're watching. Yes, we are. We talk about who they're watching. It's 50-50 right now. It is 50-50. No. Because you was in there feeling like, I'm going to make the team. And I did. But he made it. Relax. I did. But he made it. I've already been there. They already gave it to me. My nigga, I need to go get filled. They gave it to me. Can we get the poll? Who do you believe? They can't give me a spot because I ain't in the place. Rashad or Pat Bell. I was off for an hour. I was off for a whole year. I can't believe y'all never heard of me. You ain't got to never hear it, nigga. I just told my motherfucker didn't finish my workout. I bust his ass. What Gilbert, you talking about? Did they run you off the floor? When I
just stop me like that. Oh, yeah, so they said okay. they ran right. me off the floor I and they it. did. They and they did. But that's what I got hurt. But that's what I said. My story, their story. Ah, all this. Me, my I can't take this. Did they run you off the floor, you Gilbert? From my perspective, when no. When when you you bring what do you mean from your perspective? Yes or no From theirs is no. They did. Not a Lakers. How about this? You bring an overseas guy in, fly me in to L.A. to rebound, and then draft me? Whew. Uh, what, hotel, <laughs> what hotel did they put you up? No, 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 no. She cold. You fly no. her in to go out and don't do nothing with her. Hey, we no. can't pick McKay. <laughs> hey, Trev. Her, her, Trev. No, her, no, no, Trev. No, no, no. We can't no, pick McKay. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. He, got, not put he got an attitude problem. He's this, he's that. We got to make sure McCann's is who McCann's is. So, We'll take this this young nigga from overseas because yeah, yeah. McCann's I mean, got to prove to us we want to humble him. Right, and he so, got humble. So we're gonna draft and this kid so I from overseas. <laughs> so we gonna draft from him. overseas because what? we gotta I make sure it? that this nigga right here who was the first round draft pick from North Carolina, champion, all of that shit, that guaranteed work? fucking bucket. Guaranteed Where did Kenya go? We got to make sure he is who he say he is. And how did that work? It worked out perfect. Nigga, how? what the fuck you mean? What you do? I don't have to do shit. I'm I, me. I, I don't know what that how means. Many, how many careers panned out for everybody, my nigga? I, I didn't talk about careers. Well, yeah, yes. Yeah, so what are you talking about? What did, how did it I work said, out? How did it work out for What do you mean? How do you work out for you? In what sense? In, in any sense. I'm me. I'm right here right now, nigga. I'm not t- the I'm fuck you mean? I, oh, right. look, so hold, what do you mean? How did it work out? Nigga, I'm here. What do you mean? How did it work out? What kind of question is that? No, 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 no. Hey, he could let the man talk. No, no, but I'm saying it work out. No, what I'm saying is what the fuck does that mean? New York Knicks, right? I'm playing New York Knicks. I play New York Knicks. Playing against Mulberry. No, it hurt. Playing against Mulberry. It hurt. Right? Did Kenny win the show? Playing against Mulberry. No, no, he's hurt. in the bathroom. No, he's not. He in there. Okay, I'm playing against Mulberry. They hurt. Right? So y'all, y'all this is going to be quit. two different sides. This is going to be my side. Playing against Mulberry. Whooping his ass in the first half. Whooping his ass in the first half. He didn't come back at the halftime. Got a migraine. We thought they made you quit. He got a migraine. I ain't no quitter, nigga. No, no, what I'm saying is. No, no, no. No, what I'm saying is, he got <laughs> He got a migraine. No calves don't hurt. No, no, no. Right. Hey. No, no. Even when it do hurt. <laughs> Even when it do hurt, it don't hurt. What did you talk no, no, no. about? No, so no, What are we talking Mind about? No, but, what, what I'm saying no, is. Been li- hey, hey, hey. One microfracture too, buddy. Me too, yeah. nigga. Me yeah. too, nigga. Still playing. Me too. Me too, nigga. Don't judge me. Me too. Judge me off my body. Me too. In conversation. Me too. Hey, what the fuck, fuck you mean? I nigga, the fuck you mean? You gotta you watch what you fuck. say when you no, ain't no. backing it up, nigga. No, no, I'm somebody you else. Quit. Somebody else told no, you no, I quit. You quit. You said somebody else told you. I said I said. Nah, you didn't. Because you said, just said in the beginning. We'll rewind it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we know what you said. Y'all gotta watch the Darvin episode. Darvin Ham told me. He reminded him. Doesn't it? Darvin Ham told me. So, I want to hear that shit. I know so he quit. I know it hurt. So he didn't come back at halftime, and Francis didn't come back at halftime. Yeah. You did right? the job or no? No, no, no. So I broke Larry Bird's record. Most points under 30 minutes, right? No matter how good those two guys are, in my mind, they are weak-minded because they quit. So somebody told me when, when somebody talking and they get on the phone, that's the action of say less. You know what I ain't going <laughs> so, so I just got a text. <laughs> oh. Say what you got on my phone, homie, <laughs> from Darvin Ham Sr. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> what does the chat say, man? Hey, what does so, the chat say? So I'm going to say this. So I, I came in. I had my show. We, I came on y'all's show. We talked about the incident that obviously yeah. mm-hmm. happened between me and Big Genesis. We talked about the incident that happened in McCants. There was no lies detected on my end. Zero. I don't understand what all the fuss is about. I said what I, I mean, said I about either. DJ. I, I mean, I'm yeah, done yeah, talking I mean, about we it. We brought up his stats. I think played. I'm done, I'm done talking one. about it. We discussed what we had to do. I had to do the same stretching. I had to do the same running. I was co- Like he said, I was coming from overseas. I should have been the one at the pool or something. You're right. You're absolutely right. I didn't, though. That's a lack of being, pre- that's a, that's a lack of n- being prepared and not being prepared. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's what it is? I don't know. Mm-hmm. You but just I said got, it. I, I you just said it out your mouth. I'm just saying, but I got to take it. You say it, I don't know, but then you say it. I said it on my show. I came on this show. I had the conversation about the things I said on my show. No lies detected from now info. Zero. I tell the truth all the time. That nigga quit. Damn. Daddy. Mm. I'm a quitter then. Yeah. I'm a and quitter. You can tell based on these conversations I'm a he was quitter. having, he didn't stand a chance because of It's obvious. 
It's obvious, 47%. Because you was, you was trying to fit in. 40, I, was, I, was I was trying, trying to fit to kick in. Dough in. You're right. You were trying to let me in. You I'm had to kick the dough. the dough in. They opened that bitch for me. Yeah, that's cool. yeah. And that's the problem. Yeah. Maybe if you had yeah. to kick in, maybe you would have been Hey, look. because when I came up, I didn't have to do all that shit. I did. Yeah, you I, did, and nigga. And I like it this way. Remember that. But then I can make niggas So like you remember that, my nigga. I like Because I didn't get kicked out of the league because of talent, nigga. I, nigga, I, I haven't either. ask around, nigga. I haven't either. Nigga, I'm just, I'm just, um, I did not make a scene because I needed to try out because they want to see if I was good enough, That's nigga. What I'm trying to see. Why? What fuck you so, talking so, about, nigga? I, I got a question. What's going on? Fuck you talking about? I got a question. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. If he quit, wait, 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 what the fuck you talking about? 82%. I, I can't but we got a purpose with the chat. The bulk of the chat ain't shit. We got the purpose. Yeah. Okay, Mark. We don't give a fuck about the chat anyway because they made me smoke. But it's 87, 17. I want to feel how light it is. Ooh, that, now we know what that energy is. Yeah. He wants so what he I he got. He was he big. He wants what I got. Did you see how he spoke? I don't know. Besides Marcus, hey, we done seen some I motherfuckers go crazy. You did this. You got it's your some motherfuckers that went crazy. There's only one person on the panel that can say they did this. That's Marcus. Everybody else, fuck them. He said he want them. He want that crown. We got a shattered backboard. We got a core with a shattered backboard. He want to see how light it is. He said he wants It's kind of light. I'm trying to get it too. I ain't even That's lie. the energy, 10 1. Nigga, remember that shit. You, you know right. you want to get that. Last question for you, Pat. Yeah. We appreciate it. What? Yeah, nigga. It's, it's kind of like the same. End, last last, <laughs> last he, question he, for you. He warmed up for like 22 here shots. Here we go. Then, get the excuses. I don't. Yeah. You know. so it's, 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 I gotta, it's here we go to the next joke, man. Yeah, man. Go to the next shit, man. Go to the next shit, nigga. So, last question we got. We appreciate you pulling up. We appreciate all the smoke that was given. We've embraced. We've all moved forward. We gotta get Darvin Ham on the show, but he don't really fuck with us. Yeah, you gotta make the call to Darvin. We don't have to. I mean, what what we call? We don't have to vouch. Nah, no, I'm just saying, we get him on the show. We get him on the show. Nigga, he he grab, just get him on the show. Him, my nigga, you gotta. He, he, why do we know anything about this? He said he won't want to brand his chains. He won't want to brand his chains. If you gonna come on, can we keep where, going, where? please? Darvin said he want. He, he needed. Oh. He needed. Come on, man. So Pat, you signed with the Sixers. I don't know. You've been monitoring this whole Harden situation, and what's the mood like going into camp? Have you been with the team at all? I think you got to get Nick. No, we we've had. Uh, I don't know. We we we've got together as a Does team. Done some workouts and stuff. Got some workouts here in LA. Um, I think you got to get Nick Nurse a, a ton of credit, right? To like stay focused in the midst of like, you know, distraction that the NBA might present to you. Uh, he's been doing a hell of a job. He's been implementing the system in. Guys have been, you know. Yeah, we've been locked in, man. It's been fun. It's been fun. It's been okay. fun to be able to come out there and kind of, you know, um, you know, pick his brain and learn from him a little bit. So y'all worried about yeah, it at all? Like, on the phone again. On the phone again. I like um, it. Yo, on it. Yeah. I ain't seen this man hey. be on the phone all show. Now he on yo. the phone. Yo, so what do you, um, <laughs> Damn, right, you so watching year, me right, over James, here? Right, I watch, hey, hey, man, I've been hey, watching you since we walked to the Lakers gym. Why would I stop that? What are you talking about, man? What are you talking about? I'm crazy. Hey, hey. Hey, fork you, hey, hey, Gil, fork like, you, Pine. Yeah. So I know what I'm doing. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Yeah. I, I got a question. I got a question. Hey, I got a question. Fork you, Pine. Yeah, I got a question. So but James I'll, coming back this year, right? I and then be, so. uh, you know, yeah. quite coming back this year, right? Right. So what is your role being the locker room guy, OG? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is your mindset coming into this year with, with Philly? Like, it's you know. Impact winner, right? Whatever that is, right? So whether it be there or not. Whatever. Yeah, my shit's still yeah, gonna be Don't bother him. Yeah, yeah. That, that's still that. I'm still gonna be me. That yeah. I mean, that's what. That's how I pay my bills. That's how I take care of my family. I know yeah. you like, do. If I if I'm anything, anything else, yeah. like, that don't that don't work. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We here, dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, look what they put in the doc. Me and you here. <laughs> they, yeah, put, yeah, they put the boogeyman, yeah, Marcus yeah, Banks yeah, in the yeah, doc. Yeah, yeah. I put the nigga who wanna put the boogeyman. All right, Pat, we appreciate we got one more segment we do. It's called Mostly Fans, <laughs> where we take questions from the fans. We appreciate you fucking yeah, with don't us. Look at me, nigga. You're an honorable man. Don't even fucking look at me. He looking good. Like, what's nigga. gonna be up there? I'm over here like this. <laughs> no, mostly fans. You're an honorable man. We got two minute warning on the show if y'all wanna get all, all the treats and trinkets ready. Oh, Lord. So, first one comes from. Uh, we need all Big, the liquor. Right. Big Shep 62. Pat, we'll start with you because you're our guest. We appreciate you pulling up. Uh -huh. Who was the smartest player you've played against? And what did they do for you to think that? Mm. Uh, James Hart, and that yep. was me playing against him in practice. Just to see he the, the way he's able to manipulate a defense, uh, get to the free throw line. You know, he changed the rules twice. Uh, the way he operated in pick and roll, his mindset offensively. I think he kind of opened my eyes to like, okay, I got to change my mindset defensively. You know, be as crafty, be as clever. 
Mm. So do you think it's fair to take the, the flopping rule away from them? Does it hurt you? Does it stop you from being great, right? If I take a rule away from him, it stops you from really dialing in, right? No. Do you think it's fair to take away the offense to help you out? I don't know, because they change it every year. You know, it's, it's, it's something they change every year. You know, if it's not that, you can't touch a guy, or you can touch a guy on a, a certain part of the floor, or, you know, if, if it's not the sweep through three, it's the sweep through three to the five. Like, you know, it's mm -hmm. so many things that guys can find mm -hmm. ways to be clever. I, I just think, like, I've been playing the same way since I got in the league. You feel me? I've been a hack since I got in the league. Yeah, that's, talking about, <laughs> yeah that's like the wide receiver cornerback thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, like, it's that, always going to change no yeah, matter what the what, defense yeah. do to try to be great. Yeah. They're going to always tweak the rule to benefit offense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. teams don't want to see guys. Yeah. You feel me? Especially in the regular season. You don't mm -hmm. want to see a team score yeah, 89 points. You don't want anybody watching that shit. I want to see a motherfucker score 134 points. I want to see It's the old school right. saying, feel chicks me? dig the like, long. The playoffs, they know they're going to get all the viewership. So it don't matter what you score. Mm -hmm. You know, the, you, you'll still watch it because that's what's out right now. Yeah. You just got to play the game. And that's why I don't like to change my shit because, feel me, if I've been a hack since then, maybe instead of getting six fouls a game, now I get eight. You know what I'm saying? So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. That's how it is with me. Yeah. I think for me, I think for me, I have to say Steve Nash. When I came in early, Steve Nash, because I was trying to play against him, I just didn't have a certain type of coaching teammates. Mm -hmm. But just his ways of finding ways to get assists early, and still, <clears throat> like he'll average eight and six in the first quarter, and you'll be like, oh, I stopped him. I stopped him. Like, yeah. But then at the end of the day, it's like fifteen and fifteen. It's like, yeah. and then they win. But so it's like, you know, I'm just trying to, like, I used to pick his brain a lot early, but just didn't have the same type of. Uh, um, like system he had. But. Mine, mine was Bron. Bron. Yeah, we were in the playoffs, and I didn't catch it. I didn't catch it until the <laughs> second year. So I was watching the the first year to figure out what we did wrong, and I watched that. Besides watching him watch film on us, like ah, I don't give a fuck what you watch, because you know that that is just for the rest of them. Sorry, but I didn't. <laughs> I, you know, that's for the sorry thing. Thank you. I didn't realize. Sorry about that. That. On the court, what he was doing oh. was he would give a signal to the coach to take out Ogalskis. When, when he takes out Ogalskis, we took out Brendan. When we took out Brendan, LeBron was the biggest person on the court. So him, Larry Hughes, will start attacking. So when you look at, like, all the game winners, all those, there was no center on the court. I didn't realize he was manipulating our defense to be successful yeah. towards the bottom of the game. And that was like, from there, I had never seen nobody do that. Yeah. You know, especially when I was on the court, and I was like, he outsmarted me. Mm. <clears throat> no, he different. Question. No, let's, 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 next one. Next, let's go to the next one. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready to party. Yeah. Okay. Come on, I'm ready to party. All right, this one comes from... Uh, I mean, it is sticking. It is sticking here. Underdog yeah. user, uh, yeah. King Josiah 54. I need a $50. You know, I'm fucking getting, getting my ass What's smacked That's up. you? Yeah, it's for me. Uh... Are oh, you hit the blend again? We're at sixteen thousand. It's a new record for Gills yeah, 16, Arena. Sixteen thousand. We That's need to see. Yeah, we can again. get a whole. Let's get it. We can get sixteen thousand live. Yeah. Different nigga when them lights come on. <laughs> <laughs> when they when they announce you out. <laughs> Let's do it, man. Let we. Okay, we out here. Know, champagne. It's a live show. We getting the shit ready. For the champagne. But Pat, first and foremost, man, we want to just thank you. Appreciate you for coming to our season yeah, one. Thank finale, you, bro. We've been excited to have so, you come thank on you. the show. Appreciate you. Keep going. Hey, man, we're going to give yeah, you our keep, sponsors, yeah. too. We we'll get it. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Yo, hey, you know, <laughs> hey, nah, hey, man. we gotta give him his flowers too, though. We gotta give him his flowers, man, for the for the route that you took, though. Like I respect, I respect your story. I respect okay. where you come this from. This show is presented by Underdog it, Fantasy. You know? You're the epitome of an underdog coming in, having to go overseas three, four yeah. seasons, coming yeah. to the league, carving out a great career for yourself. Kind of like PJ Excited too. for you. You know. Take like, it easy on these Lakers this year when you see him. I know, you know, you can't be hitting them with the, can't be hitting them with the shit. <laughs> you know he, you know he ain't, you ain't beat the Lakers this year. Yeah, Come on, Brandon. man. God damn. <laughs> we got a... <laughs> <laughs> that fucking Laker fan, man, buddy. <laughs> no, no, Mr. He is, B. That's a Cali. A Cali bread. <laughs> but he ain't. <laughs> Look at you, you see him choking. Kobe fan. <laughs> Have Beth podcast on Barstool. Make sure y'all go ahead and give it a watch. Y'all got to watch the whole show, though. Just, yeah. But y'all put the clips out, so you got to talk to the, the niggas <laughs> putting the clips out. Hey, no, no. They edit no. the clips. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all, but y'all got to love the kiss, bro. Yeah, <laughs> when he get mad, yeah. he be bad, man. He be bad. Since when I get mad, no, no, I've been saying, though, like, we here for TV, my no, nigga. No, I know, but you when you get upset, though, we can all feel it. I think we can. All right. Yeah, 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 all right. Yeah
Right? We here. I think you be in us. No, no, no. I know. Look, I know you. <laughs> when we done, but like right now, he <laughs> be like, yeah. It's TV, nigga. Check, 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 check. It's not even my birthday. Stop, nigga. I know. It's a fucking club. Is it a boy? It's a boy or a girl? A is, a guy, is, it a, is it a season it's two? It's a season two. Season two or a season two. You gave him a good one. Wow. I know you gave him a good one. Oh, oh. oh. It's a season two or a season three. Oh, oh. You did it. 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 Really? That's fire. That's fire. That's fire. That's fire. That's fire. That's what we doing? Hey, I tried to tell you. Damn. That's fire. That's fire. That's fire. That's Shit, what a check at. Thank y'all. Uh, what, what a check at. That's fine. Hey, can we turn that music down real quick? What a check at. Run them numbers up. Hey, we Whoa. want to give a... Run them numbers up. Hey. Turn the music up. Run them the numbers up. Turn it on. I know it's Put that shit on. But I got it. That ain't Ninja Turtles. That's that. Respect. 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 Hey, cheers, cheers everybody. Hey, hey, everybody. Cool. 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 Everybody, yep. Yeah. Run them numbers up, man. We did our thing. Run them numbers up. That's a very important meeting to go to. We did our thing. Praise. Can you Cheers. hand me that one? Yes, sir. All right, well, this you. one. Cheers. Hey, we want to appreciate y'all. Let, let's get them out the mix for a second. Oh, Lord. Let's cut that music real quick. I like this. We want to appreciate. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm fucking lit as shit right now. I don't know oh, what's what? going on. I had some Malibu rum, dog. I'm Win. Win. <laughs> Win. Well, thank you to the whole underdog crew, Tim, Jeremy. Nick, Liz, Spencer, Zach, Luke, Patty, Sam, and the rest of the crew over there for all yes, the love sir. and support this year. Thank you to our crew, Paolo and Carlos, Danny, Baron, Steve, Sebastian, Trevor, Abriana, Angela, everybody else who makes this show what it is. Miko, too. Oh, we got to thank, we gotta thank the cat. Oh, we, yes, I got, I got I'm tears. A, I'm going to shout her out. I got tears. I'm going to shout her out. We want to thank the entire cast. Brandon Rashad, uh, Kenya, Miko, Darrell Wright, everybody else was pulled up this year. Lexi Brown just oh, came oh, and pulled Lexi up. Brown. I missed oh, the beat. Pat, we want to thank you for being here Marcus with us. Hey, we closed Marcus out this Williams season. Marcus Williams, Marcus Williams, 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 the legend. Miles O'Neill's in the Miles O'Neill are here. Yeah. 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 Legendary yeah. DJ doing his thing. And Gil, first and foremost, we want to thank all you for, you for getting us this bag, dog. Yeah. Niggas was living yeah. rough. We was living rough. Thank you, Gilbert. Thank you, Gilbert. Thank you, Gilbert. I was living rough. Living rough. Gilbert. 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 Oh, <laughs> Hit that Ralph's Club. That's what's up. But now we appreciate you, man. We excited for future. And everybody in the chat, the fans, we appreciate yeah. the love, the yeah. questions, even the hate too, man. We appreciate no, y'all rocking that. All these niggas say I look like a hot dog and a thumb and I all the other I'm shit. I see all that shit you guys say. But y'all watching my, me. I'm not watching you. So it is what it is. I thumb with a love and respect. Oh, Gills Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. Oh, boom, boom. Oh, we'll see y'all season two. Oh, hey, that's fine. With the honor call for greatness, the chosen of few. Carry the gift of genius Who do what they do Who possess finesse the blessed With desire it's true I'ma say it loud None other than who Some swear by Nikes Others love Adidas Rappers be rocking crowds I'd rather rock